So last time on Leighton versus Right, we uh, went into the witchy witch woods on the secret outskirts Eld of witch town. Woods. The, that's what I said. And uh, there were a bunch of shades who talked like breathing respirators. Um, they all because work... we made them sound like that. Yes, we. Uh, they fa- they all work for a witch, uh, who we thought was the Great Witch, but isn't. The Great Witch led us all to reunite our party together into these ancient ruins where we learned of an ancient prophecy. Oh, um, also Barnum was there pretending to be one of the shades for some reason. He had a meeting with the witch. And oh, yeah. They fought and he got memory loss. <laughs> I, I'll be surprised if that witch isn't Darklaw. Um, yeah. So... Yeah, Barnum fucked off. Our party got back together. We found an old prophecy about, like, oh, destruction will happen when a bell is rung. When you ring the bell. uh, Siv is making her assumption that Espella is the human version of that bell. Espella is remembering bad things about the fire. Uh, So she ran away, and that's what's going on. Mm-hmm. And the, the parade is today! Also, in case it isn't clear, uh, this is a blind playthrough, so Don't no spoilers. Don't spoil shit. We'll also, delete you. since I have to say this, apparently, if we make predictions, don't react like, oh, that's not right, because that is also spoiling. Cutscene. Where's the spell? Where could she be? There's no sign of her at all. This is very strange. I have a feeling we're the only ones around. Huh? Professor, look at this! Probably has voice acting, I'm gonna guess. Look! It's a new story! Hmm? That means that the parade has already taken place. Anyway, let's read it! Wait, sorry. Oh. <laughs> so I posted uh, our exchange from earlier, uh, where it's just like, I have to go, uh, we and T, uh, oldest trick in the B, as the- Oldest um, trick in the B. The, the better friends you are, the less you speak English to each other. And somebody responded with Le- a picture of Leanne going, <laughs> <laughs> Switch to a kneeling chair really quick before we actually get into this. Uh, I'm gonna go grab my tea. All right. Well, you grab your knees. I mean, I already did, so I'm just gonna go ahead. I guess I should probably wait for Siv for this. Ask more questions, chat. Leighton is small. Yeah, Leighton has, um... I think the idea is that everyone in Leighton and Luke's universe is kind of squat because they're stylized. And instead of trying to awkwardly make Leighton the same height as Wright or Wright the same height as Leighton, they were just like, Nick will just be tall. I've already seen Phoenix stylized Leighton. I kind of like it, honestly. What's my favorite uh, Ace Attorney case? Um, You know what? The second case of the sixth game, the one where Trucy gets accused of murder... I just like that whole case. I like every character in it. I like every twist. Um, okay, you're back. Hello. All right, I guess she's not. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, how much do you hate the Investigations games? They're not. They're not like the worst things I've ever played. But uh, the second one is fine to read through. The no one should play the first Investigation game. It's just totally pointless. Okie dokie. Okay. At the appointed place of ending, as twilight fades to darkness, the weaver of the story will meet the great witch for the first and final time. The concluding scene will glow in the flames of great magic as the teller of the story is silenced forever. This evening, at the final witch trial, The legendary Great Witch will be consumed by her own flames. The town, finally freed from the shackles of the story and witchcraft, will bathe in the morning light of the new dawning day. 
The new town will be aglow with freedom from the past and fresh hope for the future. I mean, that's not that's not a bad ending. Like whatever. No, no, that sounds pretty optimistic. I mean, like, there's no way anyone in this story is like getting out of here like they're humans, right? Mm -hmm. So does this mean what I think it means? <sighs> no way! That can't be! Is this what the Great Witch meant? Whatever the case, let's find a speller before panic spreads throughout the town. We should probably split up. Uh, I'll go with you two, and Maya, you can go alone. We should, uh, if Maya, only... you go with your beads. Okay. <laughs> I know what these are. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the appointed place of ending. Perhaps this is referring to the town square at which the parade always ends. While the teller of the story can mean none other than Espella's father. As for being silenced forever, this is almost certainly an indication that he will lose his life. In that case, Professor, the chances of Espella being at the town square are pretty high, right? Indeed, Mr. Wright. Let's head to the square and find her. What if Belduke made the bell? And he's Espella's... Yeah, that, that, I think I... I think that's probably what happened, since his name is Bell Duke. Yeah, and he said, uh, my daughter, even though she probably doesn't think of herself as my daughter. Mm -hmm. It looks like everyone in the town is here. Yeah, I think, I think I, I didn't think he was the bell maker, but I think I made a guess a long time ago that Bell Duke is Espella's dad, and, uh, actually Darklaw is the storyteller's daughter. It mm. would appear that... Luckily, we've made so many guesses. I'm sure one of them is We're close. We're right no matter what. We're just throwing every dart. I mean, we say that, but this is a latent game. <laughs> They're... They'll pull something. It would appear that they all wish to see the final story with their own eyes. Professor, about this final story, why would the Great Witch Bazella show up tonight of all nights? I have been oh, wondering... Oh, my dear boy, it's Vorpurgisnacht. <laughs> I have been wondering the same thing. She has never once shown herself before now. Perhaps the power of the story is such that even the actions of the Great Witch are subject to its control. And one more thing. Why in the world would the storyteller write his own death into the story? Indeed, there appear to be quite a few mysteries contained within this final story, although I don't suggest we dwell on them for the time being. I agree. First things first, let's find Dispella. <laughs> I forgot about these two. You better hide now, cause you know you can't win! And two, and I won't hide! You'll be crispy bacon in no time, just accept it! Well not! You'll see, I will become a knight! And if I say I'll protect you, I'll protect you! Come on, how's a little chicken like you supposed to protect me from Bazella? Just watch me! Oh, these stupid kids. The parade was totally different this time! Inquisitor Darklaw was nowhere to be seen, and Inquisitor Barnum looked so agitated! And not only that, but they said this is going to be the last story! Most of that game is bad! What's to become of all of us from here on? How are we ever gonna find a spell with all these people about? Oh, look over there! It's the storyteller! He's in his big funny car thing. He who peanut. And now the time is upon us. The time of release from the curses of witchcraft. And the legendary Bezella will appear before us. And the story of the longest night will begin. I love Night in the Woods. Prepare yourselves for the dramatic climax. That means we'll lose our storyteller. Shut up, Maya's voice actress. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn this music up, cause like, fuck, man. Brum, 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 brum. But why will he be sacrificed? There is no reason for sorrow. My stories are no more than a peek at the caprice and irony of unfolding fate. We are all being carried along on the vast an irresistible sea of chance. I am no more than one person in the sea of people who are here tonight. No more and no less. Oh, storyteller! Storyteller! Don't stop writing our story! Barnum. 
It's just actual Burnham bawling his eyes out. Aw. This isn't good. It's getting dark already. Remember what the story said? God, I hope there's only four cases in this game. Wouldn't that be refreshing? <gasps> at, the <gasps> at the appointed place of ending, as twilight fades to darkness, and we still haven't found a speller yet. Hey, look at that! Oh? Uh, well... Someone's at the top of the tower! Ding! 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> at the top of the tower? Look, Nick! Someone's definitely up there! Oh, boy. Chat's freaking out. Look, everyone. The great witch Bazella has finally appeared. The time has arrived. This story will come to an end. That must be her. Can it really be? The great witch Bazella. <sighs> Here and now, my life will surely come to an end. The great witch Bazella will be apprehended. And true peace will come to this town. Glowworm! Mr. Wright, there, follow me. Man, this game's so cool. A truly yeah. terrifying witch who would even attack her own father! Get up! Get up and stand before us, great witch Bazella! Something's twinkling. Yeah? Espella! It can't be. Espella? There's no way! Espella, are you alright? Espella? Are you okay, Espella? She seems to be wide awake, but she's not responding. I don't get it. What happened here? Hey, Darklaw. <gasps> hey, it's Eve. Eve, were you with the Espella the whole time? Can you tell me what happened here? God, I would love them using Luke's ability to talk to animals to solve a case. That's such a good way to, like, bring both of these two franchises together. What did she say, Luke? Mm -hmm. Nothing. She didn't tell me a thing. She just said, meow. Will you keep your distance? Actually, you want to be this guy? I'm like all the other knights. Yeah. Will you keep your distance? I can't have you getting close to the great witch, Bazella. Until the commencement of the final trial, this girl's to be handed over to the Knights of the Inquisition. Take her away! Sir! Hey! Sorry, I was eating the shiny thing. Sorry, Don't I was eating dare. Bazella! <laughs> Don't you dare lay a finger on her! Surely you must have seen her just now? Tell me, did she or did she not just summon a great big fiery dragon? But... You still can't say for sure that Espella is a witch! That's right! Someone might have knocked her out and brought her here against her will! Hmm, <laughs> that's ridiculous. We vigilantes were the first ones at this tower, and when we arrived, this girl was the only person present. Any one of us would swear to it on their honor as a knight. Things are not always as they might appear. You have yet to investigate the scene of the incident, have you not? 
There's no need. It's obvious beyond a shadow of a doubt what has transpired here. Oh, get a move on. Take that girl away before she regains consciousness. I was gonna say, get that girl away from here before she starts to stink. <laughs> but, sir, there seems to be some kind of commotion downstairs. What? <gasps> you Who's take. Patty? Yeah, I think. I, was she me? Who is Patty? Uh, I think she was you, yeah. All right, and she was she was Irish. <laughs> yeah, she was vaguely Irish. All right, you take your hands off that young girl. I'm family. Hey, right, you cease. <laughs> you lot just keep your grubby meat hooks off my little Spella. Oh, I'm really happy she's oh. actually defending her. Buzz, Moya, Phoenix. Who, Who let, let this woman up here? Remove her immediately. Sir! God, it is hard to go back and forth between British and Irish. Oh, didn't even mm -hmm. read that. Was blinking. Literally was blinking. She threw flour at them. <coughs> what is that? White powder. Cocaine. Oh my God, she threw she threw the white powder on the gr it was her! It was flour! Oh my god, that would be a really fun twist, actually. It's it's her! <laughs> Okay. It wasn't cocaine! Well, we don't know it wasn't cocaine, Siv. <laughs> okay, right. yeah, give these guys a few seconds. Oh, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I That's my very finest white flower. Be thankful of that, you whippersnapper. Why, you, you impudent bread brain baker. Go ahead and draw that sword at your own risk, Sonny. I'll show you a thing or two. The rolling pin is mightier than the sword. Don't you have anything better to do than intimidate defenseless women? You dork in a tin can? <laughs> <laughs> what is it with you people? Siv, I don't mean to insult you, but for what it's worth, you do do a very good my. <laughs> <laughs> I understand how you two feel. But may I ask you both to calm down a little? P professor We are the only ones who can discover the truth and save Espella. The Professor's right. We have to keep our cool and carefully plan our next move. I know, Phoenix. And to think, the Phoenix I once knew could barely even plan his next loaf of bread. If you'll excuse us, we must be on our way. <clears throat> now why couldn't you just leave peacefully in the first place? Aspella, Aspella, I still believe in you, my dear girl. <laughs> Take the girl away. That means now. I'm afraid, sir, that won't exactly be completely possible at the present time, sir. What, have they removed the staircase? <laughs> Can't have shit in Labyrinthia. A moment ago, that new recruit got carried away and locked the entrance. Currently... No one is able to leave the tower, sir. What did you say? That idiot of a new recruit did what? Oh, we- I thought that was you again for some reason. I thought it was a back and forth. We've been ordered to take this girl to the interrogation room as soon as possible. The trial of the Great Witch is tonight. The appropriate arrangements are already underway in the square. We don't have time for this! S sorry sir! I'll go and hang that new recruit up by his heels! Oh, sorry. We're leaving now when that's that. Bring that witch here to me. Looks like they took a spell away with them. That made my blood boil. I just... <laughs> having to just stand there and watch her get dragged away like that. Little angry Luke dance animation. We must bide our time, what? Luke. Don't worry. The time for action will come. Although, at present, this place is still in complete turmoil. Look! There are vigilantes and knights running all over the place! That oversized rust bucket said the trial would be tonight, didn't he? Indeed. That would seem to be the case, according to the storyteller's story, at least. Honestly, though, who knows what will happen this time? Not the storyteller. Will I, will I make this into a video? Oh, I love that artwork! <laughs> Oh, I didn't see it. Where is it? The one at the end? What? Right here. The, the... Oh, whoa! That's my kind of a spell up. Um, will I make this into a video on my channel? I don't know. I, I could probably, but 
Like, we definitely have some funny moments, like Doge and all the tiny Leighton bits, <laughs> but it definitely would be... A, I think it, as a whole so far, it's not like... It it didn't make us lose our minds as consistently and for two years straight. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I could definitely make a funny, like, 15-minute video, but um, it would... I'm really liking this game a lot, actually. So it, it would it would be so different. I'm not rushing to do it. I simply cannot comprehend it. He's crying. S storyteller, can this really be the suitable ending to the story you have written? As a father, how can you possibly subject your own daughter to a fate such as this? I really like Barnum a lot too. He um. Yeah. The, the problem with a lot of AA prosecutors is that by the end, they try and switch to be, like, cool and on your side. And, like, they do it really well with Miles, and they kind of do it well with Simon, which is why those two are the best ones. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Barnum's also really good. He's, like, he's just a genuinely yeah, nice unless, dude, even from the start. Unless he pulls some wild left-field shit at the very end. Like, so far, he's just been, like, a solid dude. Yeah. People also hate... Uh, Clavier, I think is how his name is pronounced, the yeah. Apollo Justice guy. Uh, I like him as a dude. I don't think he's a great prosecutor, though, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you took your time, did you not? How long is it now since the incident? Yeah, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. It took longer than expected on account of those incompetent vigilantes. They've only just handed her over to us. Your excuses do not interest me. You do realize that according to the story, the trial of the great Mitch... The great Mitch... <laughs> Man, I'd love a trial of the trial of the great Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> so long as it ends in a guilty verdict. Must convene this evening, do you not? Yes, sir. Arrangements for the setting up of this this special outside court. It's happening. Oh, oh, great. We get to burn them outside in the courtyard. Are you doing this in front of the bell tower? Because that seems ominous. I wanted that seems to bad. I wanted to gain as much information as possible before the proceedings began. There is little time left, so get going. Y yes, sir! You heard the Inquisitor witch! Get moving! Stop! Do not treat the accused like that. Yes, sir! Sorry, sir. But uh, this girl's accused of... I know very well what she is accused of. But for the time being, that is precisely what she is. Accused. Not guilty. Good man. Look at look in at this character development. In Inquisitor Barnum. You, you know one thing? So... This game has phenomenal pacing. Like, mm -hmm. like none of the case, like even like, I didn't even like the first two cases, but their length wasn't the problem. They were not too long. And mm. like, I saw some people trying to defend AAI too, which means they are fans of it and came in and commented and didn't watch the video. <laughs> um, mm. And they were just like, well, every case matters because they're all setting up stuff for the final case. It's like, that doesn't excuse the fact that the first part of the game sucks. Like, yeah. it's still bad. And that, like, they could have set stuff up while being good. This game has been setting stuff up while being good the whole fucking time. Yep. This girl, this girl is not a witch until she has been pronounced guilty. Treat her with respect. That is an order. Yes, sir. Espella Cantabella, I would like to hear the truth from you. Are you re- God, that's like actually kind of creepy. Like imagine her just oh. floating towards you while that noise is coming oh, from her. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Are you really the great witch Bizella? Uh, I... <sighs> Go and prepare for questioning. I shall be along shortly. Probably Darklaw. Mm. That won't be necessary. Ah, yes. Uh, good. Inquisitor Darklaw, what, what did you just say? I said that will not be necessary. You see, this evening you will not be the one standing in court. This is very Ace Attorney to sub in the evil prosecutor. Yeah, she hasn't done shit so far, actually. So, I, uh... so I was kind of expecting her to be accused in this trial and be a good guy, actually, and then like yeah. there'd be a, a twistier twist for the final trial. But if there's four trials, I mean, I'm here for it. Let's bring this game to a close. What? What is the meaning of this? Who then? Who will stand in court? For the trial of the great witch Bazella, surely it is only fitting that the High Inquisitor herself prosecute. You're not saying... 
I'm saying that I will be filling the role of Inquisitor in tonight's trial. Is that understood, Barnum? High Inquisitor, just what are you planning? A girl's night, as they say. <laughs> I'm not quite sure I follow. What are you implying? Volpurgis girl's night. <laughs> I mean, Volpurgis Talk is the ultimate girl's night. It is! It is the ultimate girl's night! I followed after you, and my pursuit led me into a mysterious forest. Upon doing so, I witnessed a most unusual scene. Several mysterious robed figures surrounding a character whom they referred to as the Great Witch. The Great Witch hiding behind that masked exterior was none other than you, High Inquisitor Darklaw. Glad we're not- Are you seriously going to make me explain cosplay to you? <laughs> Those are my boys. I, I, this is another thing. This game does not fuck around when it's already like given the player enough foreshadowing. It's just like, yeah, you probably just, figured like, this out. You Here figured you go. this out by now. They're not going to make Maya sit there and go, but what? I mean, they might, but everyone else will be like, this is happening. Proof. Well, did you not even remove the mask to confirm the identity of that person? <laughs> well. I was unable to confirm anything. Thanks to, her of, thanks to her use of witchcraft, I was robbed of consciousness. Oh, is that so? In that case, Barnum, I'm afraid I will have to treat what you've just said as treason. <laughs> and treason against the High Inquisitor means treason against the storyteller. You there! Yes, my lady. Escort Zacharias Barnum to the dungeon for his crime of treason. Ye yes, my, my lady. On second thought, he may prove the handful for the likes of you men alone. I shall come along and assist your escort. Now, ready the horses. Here, I'll knock him out for you. <laughs> Uses a spell. Ah, oh, fuck. Y yes, sir. I mean, my lady. Wait evil, right! Evil, evil. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, wait right there, Barnum. No, she's she's making me say it. These words come not from my own lips. They we're taking you into stop immediate. Stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! Stop it! Stop hitting yourself! Stop, stop it! I like hitting myself. I am a little baby. Damn you! <laughs> whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on a moment. I didn't want that to be like sexual. I just thought it would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I do not believe it. I will not believe it. I'm sorry, this comment in chat, the knockout spell, big stick. <laughs> I cannot believe that Espella Contabella oh, <laughs> is the great witch Bazella. Blast of all the times. Inquisitor Bonner, Inquisitor I'm so glad. Barnum. Sorry, I'm, I keep fucking that up. One. All right, I'm no, so glad that uh, she's gonna be prosecuting so that like, Barnum it is can not... be an even yeah. back and forth. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Please know that it pains me to restrain the great defender of Rebel... Re 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 <laughs> Don't th do not cry. Steal your tears this day. There is no need <laughs> yes, to apologize. I am aware that you are only doing your duty. But, but sir... Oh my... Oh my I, I'm so ready for whatever Constantine's role in this story is going to be. <laughs> Brought your lunch. <laughs> My faithful companion Constantine. I'm sorry to say, it appears that your master has reached the end of his career. A great task has befallen me, but now I shall be unable to complete it. It's such a pity. Oh, this is pitiful. The once great Inquisitor Barnum. Conveying Whoa. words of remorse to his faithful dog. Time slow. And what may I, I cast with was time? This great task of which you spoke. That's simple. To find the truth. The truth? Until I met Sir Blue Knight and Sir Dark Hat, the question hadn't occurred to me. Is Espella Cantabella really the great witch Bezella? Why would the storyteller write a story in which his own daughter is executed? I, Zacharias Barnum, as a defender of this town, must know the truth behind this. I'll tell you one thing, Inquisitor Barnum. I'll tell you why 
you were unable to find the truth. What is the reason? There is one thing which, despite your great ability, you lack. Something I lack? What? Oh, sorry. What do you mean? In order to find out the truth, you went to great lengths in following me to the woods. I don't reproach you for that. You felt it was your duty as a knight. But that's also the problem, Inquisitor. Why could you not go to such lengths when it came to doubting the storyteller himself? That's, that's crazy. It's not right for a knight to question the integrity of his lord and master. And so you failed. Your knightly pride was your critical flaw. Huh? Critical flaw? That tower, the one in which the storyteller lives. Perhaps the truth you were seeking could have been found in the small room at the very top of that tower. What? What are you saying? In any case, at this stage of the game, it's too late to do anything. So I suggest you assign your unfinished task to that faithful dog of yours. Huh? Very well then, Zacharias Barnum. It's time to go. From this evening, you'll be spending your time in a damned dark place. Deep underground. It might be a good opportunity for you to cool that hot head of Real quick, I just realized my phone's out of juice. Uh, I've been waiting for lunch to arrive. I'm gonna check if it's actually juice here. Juice that phone! Welcome to America's favorite game show, Juice That Phone! Yes, hello. Oh, this is phone? Well, hello, phone. Are you juiced? Well, you better get on it. Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Will it blend? <laughs> oh, he got his food. Got my hamburger. I hear the paper Me bag. want bite. Me want tasty Me bird want delight. Me want delight. Me want he fried. I am not quite at my mic. So I can't hear you if you're saying anything. But we, no. He's trying to. It comes in kind of a complicated anti spill package. I gotta take this out. Yeah, you good. Okay, I'm back. Yay! Hey, I, love, I loved your burger song. We tried to sing together, but your, we, we had slightly different lyrics. <laughs> what were yours? Uh, 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 me want tasty burg delight. Ah, that's probably better. <laughs> Okay. Food. Food, mm. food, food. You know what? I'm gonna cram some chips in my mouth, too. Yeah. This is the oh, cram moment. Maybe that's a bad idea. No, I'll do it anyway. Me want chips. Me want snackies on my lips. <laughs> I did get a good chuckle out of that, but I was busy crunching, so... Eat your hamburger, Apollo. <laughs> Eat your hamburger, Apollo. Nom, 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 nom. Not gonna eat all my lunch, but I am gonna eat like a third of it real quick. Oh, I think Yam might make a lasagna today, maybe. Oh, give me two seconds. My um, my front door got reinstalled like eight months ago, and um, I don't know why the landlord just did it. And I think it's a little too small, so if you don't deadbolt it, it just like creaks back open. <laughs> mm, don't like that. All right. Yeah, let me Mom. know. Yeah, let me know when you're ready. She's busy eating the tower. I second that tower. There's probably not much time until a spell's trial begins. 
I say we look around for clues so we at least have something to go on. Indeed. Look, a funny little dog. A funny little dog. Maybe a funny little man would be able to talk to him. <laughs> what, you just call me Professor? I was referring to my true form. Indeed, that sounds like a wise <laughs> suggestion. However, if it's alright with you, I'd like you to take charge of this particular investigation, Mr. Wright. Oh, I'm Phoenix. <laughs> sure, no problem. But what about you, Professor? Well, as Professor Layton, I've already figured out this whole case six hours ago, but I like to walk people through it. Me? Why, there is a particular place of interest that I would like to investigate. A place you'd like to investigate? Where's that, Professor? <laughs> Constantine's adorable, by the way. It's just a pom-pom of a dog. Oh, Constantine! You could just... You could just take the, a spoon to that dog and he'd be made of foam. Whoa! Oh. Where the heck did he come from? <laughs> Constantine looks rather worked up. Could something be the matter with him? I don't know. I'll ask him and see. Ah, good idea, Luke. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? No, surely not. What is it, my boy? You look like you've just seen a ghost. What did the little guy say? He, he said his master, Inquisitor Barnum, has been relieved of his duties. Whoa. You mean Inquisitor Barnum is no longer Inquisitor Barnum? But why? Solid breed there. <laughs> Apparently he's been branded a traitor for treason against the storyteller? Barnum a traitor? How very peculiar. This has happened rather too hastily for my liking. If that's true, then who's going to take his place as prosecutor in the trial this evening? I'll do it. That would be me. <laughs> well, according to Constantine, it'd be High Inquisitor Darklaw herself. High Inquisitor Darklaw? It would appear this incident has taken a further turn for the dramatic. We would be wise to attend to our respective investigations without further delay. Uh, just a moment, Professor. It seems Constantine wants to tell us something else. I'd be very interested to hear anything you wish to add, Constantine. I, he's like even a gentleman to animals. <laughs> hmm, yes, Wolf Wolf Ruff Ruff. It appears he'd like to show us the way. Show us the way? It show us the way to where? He, uh, wants to show us the way to... The Storyteller's Tower? The Storyteller's Tower? Why there? According to Constantine, there should be a vital clue up there. A vital clue? Ho ho, this is most fortuitous. Huh? Professor, it just so happens that when I said there was a place I wished to investigate, that tower is precisely where I meant. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, I'm way ahead of everybody else. For the time being, everyone's attention is focused on the town square, so perhaps it might just be possible to enter that tower when it's not being quite so heavily guarded. At least I presume that may be the case. You may have just found a chink in their armor, Professor. Isn't that tower where Espella used to live when she was a little kid? Hmm. What kind of clue do you think could be hiding up there? A second Espella? <laughs> oh, I hope not. Yikes. Oh. Maybe the clue Please, lies in a spell. I've had nothing but nothing to eat but mac and cheese my whole life. <laughs> the next leg of the story. If Luke does not get in the robot, Espella will have to pilot it again. Luke. <laughs> Maybe the clue lies in a spell as past. Constantine says he knows a shortcut. He can lead us straight to the storyteller's tower. Follow me, sir. Top hat, he said. Mr. Wright, I suggest we split up into two groups. Okay, Professor. Be careful up there. Don't worry. I shall be sure to return, armed with that vital clue. We'll be waiting for you. In the meantime, we'll make sure we're armed and ready for the trial. Mr. Wright, within the final story was written the following. The town, finally freed from the shackles of the story and witchcraft, will bathe in the morning light of the new dawning day. The new town will be aglow with freedom from the past and fresh hope from the future. If this story is to have the finale that has been promised, Espella too will bathe in the morning light of that new dawning day. 
I'm with you on that, Professor. Let's work together to make it happen. Uh, uh, actually, I feel you failed to catch my meaning. I I'm afraid this is an extended metaphor for another fire. Farewell for now, Mr. Wright. Mm. Come on, Luke. Right you are, Professor. Come on, Constantine, show us the way! All right. I'm like so hoping the investigation will start so I can keep eating my fucking burger. Yeah, same. All right, let's start by investigating the scene of the crime. We've only got a few hours until the trial starts. That doesn't give us much time. Let's go, Maya. Right. I'm sure the professor will bring us back something we can work with. Let's be sure to hold up our end of the bargain. You got it, Nick. Let's sit down and play some Xbox. What is it, Maya? It's... Miss Bella. Her eyes are all funny again, like last time. Like last time? Yeah, like they were back in London. I mean, it's like she's completely spaced out again. Uh, now that you mention it, it was almost like she was being controlled by some kind of drug or magic back then. Or magic drugs. Mugs. No, no way. Mugs. This is just Wait, downright it's disgusting. Robs and Mugs. They're the main antagonists. Oh, we can't let them get away with this. Yeah, we're definitely on the same page there, Maya. Come on, let's get started. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Both of us literally eating, going end, end. Silence. Silence. Oh, thank God. All right. Cool background. So, chat, is this the last case? It feels like it, but I want to know. Yes, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Great. Oh my god, yes. Thank god. I've missed games with four cases, honestly. Figures, there's still a ton of people around. Well, considering what happened, I guess it's only natural. There seem to be fewer knights, though. Oh, Nick, look out! I think you were the vigilante. Make way! Make way! Ah! Ah! You wimp! How could you be sent flying by a little bump like that? Oh, uh, excuse me. So he knocks me over and I get yelled at? Yeah, that's fair. I've got to say, Nick, I think you just set a new record for the most super dramatic fall ever. <sighs> Come on, Maya. What do you expect when someone in metal suit, uh, in a metal suit, bumps into someone in a cloth suit? What are you two doing here anyway? They say you're supposed to be off limits to the likes of you. We, um, well, you see, we're the ones defending a spell at Cantabella. <laughs> then you must be the Sir Blue Knight that all the town is talking about. He sure is, bluest knight in all the land. That's right, I'm the Blue Knight. Mm, you look a little green for a knight if you ask me. That's pretty good. Uh, That's kind of funny. Thanks. Well, free, feel free to investigate the area. Over in the square, they're setting up the special outside court to be used in the upcoming trial. We vigilantes are spread thin, Garden here, so do your best to keep out of our way. Why is there this new faction of rogue knights? I think it's just the rest of the knights that aren't in the Inquisition. Oh. Mm. Well, there he goes. You know, Nick, you're blue. I am blue. I'm not sure blue is quite the right word. Huh. What's up, Nick? It looks like the vigilante that ran into me just dropped something. What is that? It looks like some kind of patrol record for the guards. Wow. Judging by what's written here, it looks like they've been taking turns Did... guarding this bell 24-7. Did we not check up at the top of it yet, or is that where we're No, we got to? ushered back down. So I okay. think we're going to go back up there and grab the sparkly. Okay. You mean they've been guarding it around the clock? Around the bell? Why would they do that? Beats me. But the important thing here is the fact that it was under close guard at the time the incident took place. All right. So I guess it would have been impossible to just throw, just stroll in right through the front gate. Exactly. Anyway, it might be a good idea to hold on to this for now. Yeah, crime. So, uh, we're anyway, where are we? I don't know.
Me want bite. <laughs> Me want take. It looks like they've left the crime scene completely untouched, which you're supposed to do. <laughs> Here, tell you I'm what, really we'll just, just we'll just alternate conversations because mm -hmm. we gotta eat. Yeah. I still can't believe she took on a bunch of fully armed vigilantes. With only a bag of white flour and a rolling pin, too. Just goes to show how much Patty cares for Espella, huh? Of course she does. After all, Espella's like family. That's another reason we just have to rescue Espella, Nick. That's right. Then what are we waiting for? Let's bust out that magnifying glass and get this search on the road. Your turn. <laughs> Look at this. It's a pendant. The leather strap seems to have broken. Wait! I know this! This is... It's... It's Spella's pendant! <gasps> I knew I'd seen it somewhere before. Anyway, we should pick it up before one of those dorks sees it. Come on, Nick. Quickly, just pop it in your pocket. Okay, okay. I'm on it already. Okay. My turn. They're just both alternately eating potatoes. Mm -hmm. This is what real voice actors are like. Mm -hmm. I kind of said that as hey. a joke, but honestly, no, I got it. <laughs> hey, this looks like the floor plan of the tower. Why? Hey, hey you're right. You're right. Or, why the fuck would they leave it out here? Why would it be here at all? Like, what do you mean a floor yeah, plan for a tower? You're right, but I don't remember seeing it here before. Do you want me to cover this one? I just figured because you... No, no, I just thought I'd read that for some reason. I guess, like, we just carried on. Okay. I guess the vigilantes must have been using it for their investigations and left it behind when they hurried off. Item acquired peanut. Me? <laughs> According to this floor plan, there's a bell on the floor above this one. Well, it is a bell tower. It'd be kind of strange if there was no bell. Yeah, but there's no sign of any ladder leading up to the next level. Or even a step Shut ladder. Up. Does that mean the bell can't be rung? That one would Crime be a ladder, Nick. Comic Sans. Anyway, Nick, this floor plan could be useful. Hurry up and stash it in your pocket. Maya, I hate to think what you have stashed away in that spirit medium's outfit. Hamburger! It's Ew. called being decisive, Nick. Come on, we're doing this for a spell, remember? Well, yeah, I hadn't exactly forgotten. I have so many french fries. This one's gold. What's this, a control panel? I wonder what it's for. Oh boy. Hmm, if it's a control panel, shouldn't there be a lever or button or something? Uh, wait, wait a sec, what's that? I wow. think, it, someone in chat, I think it's funny that Maya steals more than Kay does. I'm I'm mad now that you bring that up. You're right. I mean, in fairness, Edge, uh. Edgeworth wouldn't allow this bullshit. He would just be like, go to jail. No, no, stop this criminal. There seems to be some kind of recess here. It looks like something fits inside of it. Hey, nice catch, Maya. That recess. Or recess. I actually don't know. I've seen something shaped like that before. There. I don't know hmm. The shape! It's it's a spell as pendant! Yep. Why? I don't know! Well, case closed. Well, seeing as we don't yeah, know, this is, there's this only is one thing we can do. Oh! Okay. Why am I still here? <laughs> Hold it right there, sir, suspicious blue knight. There was, there's just a hole shaped exactly like him, and he's been lying in the floor the whole time. Wait a moment! <laughs> Trapdoor spider. Wait, who are you? Yes, you. What exactly are you up to? Um, we're just, you know, uh, carrying out our own investigation. <laughs> bah! <laughs> you can't fool me. That thing you just picked up. The thing that, even as we speak, you are attempting to conceal in your pocket. What is it? Oh, you mean this little thing? It's a... Well, I guess you'd call it a pendant. It's um, absolutely nothing to do with this whole crazy incident just now. I swear Nick's attorney's badge on it. I can do that. I saw it, all of it, every single move from beginning to end, including just now. 
That right there is one piece of evidence I was looking forward to coming back and snatching for myself. I saw it too! Me three! Me oh. three! <laughs> now then, hand over that important piece of evidence now! Aw, shoot! Finally reprimanded for the crime of messing with a crime scene. Hmm. <laughs> Took you over a decade. No! It's Fallis Pendant! That is dead on how the actual VA would have read it. <laughs> Snatched away from us just like that. I, Nick's sad portraits are so, so over sad. the top. I must report this to the High Inquisitor immediately. Sad Nick versus Tiny Light. Me too! I'll accompany you, Chief! Me three! Me four! Here they go. Hey, Am. Oh, I was totally planning on giving it back to her the next time I saw her. But more than that, I so wanted to try fitting that pendant into the little panel. What now? Good job, guys. I bet Leighton would have let that shit happen. No, Leighton would have just been like, hold on there, good sir. Might I suggest trying to fit it into this wall thingy? And then just like... And tricking him into doing it, right? Yeah. 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 Leighton's great. Great and... No way is that mm. panel just there for decoration. I better add it to my items for future reference. RIP! Tower crumbles. Playing. Whose banky is this? Who? Hmm. I wonder whose banky this is. Looks like a banky to me. A banky? Ain't that the graffiti artist? Say, this reminds me of the robes those weirdos in the Eldritch Wood were wearing. Eldritch Woods were wearing. Come on, Nick, try it on, try it on! You gotta be kidding! This thing is drenched from all the rain. Well, <laughs> it's like, it's literally dripping on him, that's not sweat. <laughs> Ew! Uh... And besides, it's covered in that flower Patty threw all over the place. Yeah, I guess you're right. It does look pretty beat up, huh? That flower's not coming off easily. It's all stuck to the wet robe. That's... Cement robe. You know, I can't put my finger on it, but there's something weird about this robe. Weird? Remember when we first arrived here? I could swear there was nothing like this lying around, was there? Hmm. Huh. I'm not really sure, but I sure don't recall seeing it. This robe's pretty big. It looks like it would fit somebody my size. I guess that means it can't be a spell as since she's small and aerodynamically built like yours truly. Is this just the cloak that Burnham had on? Maybe. Anyway, it may provide a loseful clue. A, a loseful clue. Let's make a record of it for now. Hey, get that soggy thing away from me! Oh, that's funny. Someone in chat, why is he called Nick? <laughs> it's just like, I guess, yeah, I guess if you're not used to the series, that makes that's yeah. a fair question. Phoenix. <laughs> Oh boy. I wonder why they named him Phoenix in English. Hmm. Um, I don't know. Vigilante, maybe? Yeah. Attention, everyone. The preparations of this evening's special outside courtroom have now been completed. Summon the high. It is time we were prepared for the trial. So, do you think. Do you think the trial's just gonna begin? And Leighton's gonna burst in with the decisive evidence, or we're actually gonna cut to Leighton. Hmm. I mean, it could go either way. They that both both fit. It's Each and every citizen shall no doubt wish to bear witness to this evening's trial. Overcrowding is to be anticipated. However, please remain your six feet of social distancing. <laughs> Someone in chat says, um, "It's because Phoenix rises from the ashes." I mean. Was Rise from the Ashes in the original English release? I thought that was like, I guess I forget. Was like, I mean, be, I, I think it would have been if that was the name of the case. So it like wasn't in the original Japanese release and they wrote it for, I thought it was like a DS re-release or something. It was not, okay. Yeah, it was added. Okay. In, that's what I thought. God, Rise, when I talk about long cases, Rise from the Ashes is fucking enormous. Hmm. All officers to the stations. Let's help this final court session find a proud place within Labyrinthia's history. Yeah, I don't know why he's called Phoenix. Nick! Looks like we're out of time, Maya. 
I guess that's the end of this investigation. You think we'll be all right? We didn't really have time to finish. We did what we could in the time we had. Let's go. I have a feeling a spell is going to be moved to the defendant waiting room soon. Hmm. You know, Nick... Uh, what? I've been thinking. I know, strange. <laughs> it's no accident that you and I found ourselves in Labyrinthia. I've been thinking. I know, a stretch. Maya. The reason we're here is for the trial tonight. I know what you mean. I think so, too. And I'm sure Professor Layton and Luke feel the same way. I just know that- Professor, why are we here? <laughs> what, like, cosmically? <laughs> I, just, I just know they'll bring back a clue or two to save Aspella. Yeah, you're right! Ryuchi is his Japanese name, which means son of a dragon, so he's the dragonborn. Okay, I guess that maybe they just wanted, like, to name him after some kind of mythical creature. I don't know, it- it, feel, like, it feels like there'd be some reason they'd pick Phoenix, right? Because the, the names in Ace Attorney are so purposeful, generally. Mm -hmm. Except for, um... I mean, I, even Maya and Mia Faye, like, we are Faye. Me, Faye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's all there. Okay, Nick, let's do this thing! You bet! We'll do what we do best. We'll fight to the very end. For a spella. Uh -huh. <laughs> Leighton comes back, I got jack shit. <laughs> I got Starbucks. Oh shit. <laughs> Ye old Labyrinthia Starbucks. <laughs> Dade man. Fucking Dade man. Died man, technically. Someone guesses it's because they, um, they're like turnabout victories, like it looks like he's fucking dead and then comes back. That's, mm. alright, that's clever. I, I doubt oh, it, but I like theme. that. Every... Yo, if you guys, uh, top tier relaxation music, any late night theme. Oh. Is oh this a. Is, is this a, uh, was this in Windrose? No, no, but this one, I used to listen to the Leighton soundtrack, like, back in the day when I didn't have internet of my own, so I just, like, hang out in my room listening to it, and this one, like, oh. Roboy, Roboy1101 says, Early brainstorming suggestions for Phoenix's English name included Cole and Wilton, but Phoenix was chosen as a name that would stand out. Quote from Wikipedia article. Yeah, all right, that's fair. I mean, it worked, right? Sorry. Yeah. Every time the game chugs like that, I'm changing the audio. All right. Mm -hmm. What is it, my boy? What do you think about what happened tonight? Hmm. On the surface, it certainly did appear that the storyteller's assailant could be none other than a speller. But surely not! However, even if it did seem that way, that does not necessarily make it the truth. And if it transpires that a speller is in fact innocent, then there must be some form of contradiction or proof to support as much. Yes, you're right! I'll bet Mr. Wright won't miss even the slightest shred of evidence. Mr. Wright and Maya are investigating the scene of the crime as we speak. Meanwhile, uh, we, meanwhile, must search for something to prove a speller's innocence. In doing so, the truth should become evident as a matter of course. I see. In the time that I've spent with a speller, I've never once doubted her character. There's just no way she could do anything as terrible as what happened in the square. I believe in her, Professor. I know you do, Luke. We are a speller's friends. And as such, we must believe in her. Too right. First, let, our, let us make our way through the gate. Oh, God. Uh-oh, uh the door's still locked. And there's no knights here to open it. Oh, oh is, wait. Is there like a little doggy game? Soon. Oh, what's the matter, Constantine? Oh, that's great, thanks. He says there's another way in, which only the knights know about. That's a relief. Uh, could you show us the way, Constantine? Barf. <gasps> Hi! Hey! I forgot about you. This is, like, of all the characters in this game, this is the one that if I, like, saw a casting document in this girl, I'd just be like, Siv, Siv voices this character. Siv, go! Siv, go! <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Layton. It's been a while since we last met. Yes, indeed, Miss Mysteer. I'm, but I must say I'm surprised to be meeting you at a place like this. After seeing the Storyteller's Parade earlier... I've been unable to simply sit still in the library, but at the same time, wandering around aimlessly doesn't solve anything either. Then again, meeting you like this, Professor, has given some meaning to my wandering. 
If you'd like to try your hand at any unsolved puzzles or puzzles that you didn't manage to encounter, this is your final save point. Yeah, I know it really is. show them to you now. Yeah, this is definitely the end game when the when fucking Granny Riddleton shows up and is like, If you want any puzzles, you are a current guest! How about trying a puzzle or two? Solving puzzles can help relieve stress, especially in difficult times such as these. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, girl. I mean, wow. Uh, no. I wonder what this is. Oh, that's, um, that's puzzles we've solved out of puzzles we tried. There was one I had to give up on, I remember. Yeah. Anytime you wish to try, baby. Okay, goodbye. Are you sure? I mean, we do have things to be doing. As much as I do love puzzles. She just, like, starts walking towards her like a moth to a flame. Professor! Professor! Puzzles, Luke. Puzzles to be solved. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't ask about it. There's another way around. It's fine. Who'd have thought the storyteller would have come to such an end? I'm still finding it hard to believe, even now. I mean, what's to become of us? <laughs> Wish I knew. I'm more worried about Inquisitor Barnum. He's been held on suspicion of treason. Oh, this whole thing's just one big headache. No matter what, the future ain't looking too bright. You know what's weird? I, I don't know if you have this problem. I find it easier to, like, read text... Not as it's crawling, but like if I if I can absorb it while it's crawling, it's easier than like double tapping and having the whole thing come at me at once. But then like I, I do have to go in blind sometimes. I don't know. It's strange. Hmm. Um I don't know who this is. Ah, me! Huh? What, or was this you? I don't remember. Uh there can be you. Okay. The storyteller's gone! Inquisitor Barnum's gone! And who do you think is suffering the most because of it? The townsfolk! That's who! It's now that they need us the most! We must be there for them to offer our support! Yes, sir, that's certainly true, but with things the way they are, what can we possibly do? Pitiful! Mm. Over there, isn't that? It would appear even the knights are unsettled, my boy. What's going to become of Labyrinthia now? Well, according to the final story, once all this is sorted out, there will be fresh hope for the future. So it's a little early to be losing heart just yet. Ah, oh, I hope you're right. Let's do our best to make it so, Professor. But what's this? Oh, someone's coming this way. Isn't that... And what are you two doing here? We're headed to the Storyteller's Tower. There may be something left to uncover, so we're going there now to find out. Did you say the Storyteller's Tower? Uh-oh. Uh I hope this doesn't mean we're about to be surrounded by knights pointing swords at us again. Uh, well, if it isn't little Constantine. Oh, I see. This must mean you're working on behalf of Inquisitor Barnum. Well, in that case, the tower is up ahead. You may proceed. Oh. In fact... I insist that you proceed. I have a feeling there's some sort, there's some unfinished business that only you can take care of. For all our sakes, go there and fulfill your quest. I never get tired of the Professor Layton theme. It's such a so good song. Good. And in doing so, show us all that there is still hope for the future of Labyrinthia. Man, it's just, it's been so long since I've played a Layton game and I forgot how like, Generally, the whole cast is really good in each game, and they're like, yeah, we're all just people, and we're all nice. Captain? Very well. We shan't let you down. Let's go, Luke. The Storyteller's Tower stands right ahead of us. Right you are, Professor. I'll get my climbing shoes on. I'm, I'm picturing they have plungers on the bottom, and he's just walking perpendicular. Little... <laughs> Right over there. Oh, but how do we get to it? I believe this may be where our little friend comes in handy. Wouldn't you say, Luke? Hello, Luke. Oh, right. Of course. <laughs> oh, shit. Oops. Mm, I see. He says that there's a path leading from behind the audience room right over to the storyteller's tower. One could hardly ask for a better guide. 
Oh, really? He, he just said, you've nothing to worry about while I'm here. And then he added, you might want to worry about that Sir Blue Knight, though. Mm -hmm. I hope Mr. Wright is able to come across some clues. I don't think you have a stomach ache. I don't think we need to worry too much about them. I'm sure they'll be all right. Wouldn't you agree, my boy? Have you met Maya, Professor? Now, Luke. I, I don't. I did exclude her from that sentence for a reason. <laughs> when I was teaming up with Mr. Wright, one thing came clear to me. I did exclude her for that. From that. I did exclude her from that sentence for a reason. For a raisin. If I use a raisin. A, a California raisin. If I use a raisin, I can make someone disappear. I'm a witch. A raisin. He's definitely someone that will always do his best to protect his friends. I agree, Luke. He's a fine young lawyer with a heart of gold. I'm quite confident the trial is safe in his capable hands. Me too. And then, there's Maya. Yes, Luke. She is there. Both Miss Wright and Constantine are friends that can truly be relied upon. But at the same time, High Inquisitor Darklaw will be a most formidable opponent. One unlikely to make any careless slips, which is must, which is why we must all do our best and work together. Including me, right? Of course. I certainly couldn't do this without you, Luke. Don't worry, Professor. I'll give it everything I've got. That's the spirit, my boy. <laughs> Hello? Mm. Oh. Castlevania. Mr. Whoa. Someone in chat, Mr. Wright is a friend who can be relied on, and Miss Fay also exists. You don't realize how tall the tower is until you see it up close like this. I wonder when we're going to learn to immediately investigate any towers that happen to be in the mysterious towns we keep visiting. <laughs> They're always my favorite part. It certainly looks ominous in the moonlight. There's a vital clue waiting for us here, isn't it? Is it? Oh, isn't there, Professor? That's what I'm counting on, Luke. And it would seem that Inquisitor Barnum had the same idea. Oh, that would explain why Constantine is helping us. So this is the tower in which the Creator resides. The tower that none of the townsfolk, nor even the knights, dare visit. Oh, what, what if there's just like a virtual reality computer in here? That's, That's my bet. I'm you going with it. That's very much in line with this franchise. It's like some big Frankenstein computer with all these different valves and pulleys and gears. And we're just we're just doing some VR stuff. Yes, that it's could be It's surrounded in secrecy, that's for sure. But it's a bit like the Eldritch Woods. Indeed. Those woods are certainly an enigma in themselves. Not to mention those underground ruins. Talk about mysterious places. If the storyteller really did know everything about Labyrinthia, I'd have liked to have asked him a few thing or two about them. It's possible there may be clues related to those places, as well as a number of other matters waiting for us within that tower. In which case, there could also be any manner of traps or contrivances awaiting us as well, but they'll probably be in a puzzle format. We shall have to be doubly careful from here on in. Got it, Professor. Dog. You've what? You've completed your mission? <laughs> Someone in chat. Oh, Luke, I've only just now noticed I've been wearing an Oculus this whole time. <laughs> I just thought it was a new look you were trying out. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to he say anything. He says he's worried about his master and he wants him to... He, he, he go back to Barnum. Mm, aw, we couldn't have come this far without your fine guidance, Constantine. We can take it from here. Constantine says we're the ones his master chose, so he knows he can leave his quest with us in good faith. I can't wait to see how mad Darklaw is after she realizes you that fucking- listened to a dog! The dog was the killer or the log. We're honored- <laughs> by a dog. We're honored, Constantine. Thank you for your help. Yes, thanks a lot. Take care on your way back. See you later, good boy. Dog Grug. Inquisitor, Dog Grug. Inquisitor Barnum loves this town more than anyone and has done his utmost to protect it. 
Let's bear that in mind too, Luke. We have a responsibility to fight to the end, for him and for everyone else in this town. I'm ready if you are, Professor. I'm scared, Luke. <laughs> I am too. E I'll hold your hat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I just pictured Leighton, like, floating through the air, like, not, like, not T-pose, but I-pose, just straight up, and Luke holding on to his hat. Yeah, that's exactly, he's holding him like a fucking lawnmower. <laughs> Hold on a moment, Luke. It appears there's a hint coin on the moon. Extend. <laughs> just reach up! <laughs> I've learned to stop questioning these things. No, no, you just put a vacuum tube up in the air and aim it towards the moon, and it'll just right down. I don't have a vacuum tube, but I do have the power of my own lungs. They don't call you Herschel Dyson for nothing. Herschel what? Dyson? Oh, Dyson vacuum. Oh, okay. How do I? I guess I have to click this. Oh, 3D. Oh. It seems the mechanisms put in place to protect the tower are still operating. But we already did this puzzle. No, that was... we can't get inside? That was a different one. No, I wouldn't say what? so. Huh? This particular mechanism is in the form of a puzzle. If we can solve it, perhaps we can enter. Puzzles. Puzzles. Puzzle. Hi, yellow card. Oh, How boy. How you doing, buddy? Oh, is this math? I can do math. Oh, Pe I will look away. I'll avert my gaze. People can crime. There are 12 People gems. People can crime. There are 12 gems, each of them numbered between 1 and 12. There is also a set of three triangles with the gems already inside them. Keep in mind, these gems cannot be moved. Place the gems from your hands so that the sum of all the numbers on each of the triangle's perimeter adds up to 39. What do you mean? Does the tower got extraterritorial rights? No, but the moon does. Place the gems from your hand so that the sum of all the numbers on each triangle's perimeter adds up to 39. When you say perimeter, what do you mean? Each triangle's perimeter, like, oh, okay. Oh, oh I oh, get it. Oh, that's not too hard. Okay, I mean, you say that. Um, all right. Does, oh, wow, okay. Adds up to 39. I mean, it's like a Sudoku, almost. Kind of, yeah. Same kind of logic. I'm, there's a lot of triangles, though. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess I don't even really know where to start. Well, these ones are... We've got an 8 and 9 here, which means we probably need to put the small ones in in this thing. So let's assume... Let's assume 4 and 2 go in these three somewhere. Um, and then that's what? 17. Uh, I can do math. I'm not fast at it, though. <sighs> yeah. Uh, okay. I, I will actually get up and walk around for this. That's that sounds good. Okay, so actually I'm gonna um briefly make my cursor visible because I think that will make this less obnoxious to watch. Give me a second. Properties. It's gonna chonk for a second. Okay. Alright, you guys should be able to see my cursor now. So alright, nine, two nines is eighteen, eighteen plus is twenty six twenty just came back to deliver a funny joke from chat. 28. Damn, Moon. She makes Agent Linguini howl at night. <laughs> okay. Very clever. All right. Um, well, luckily, there aren't that many. Did I get it? Oh, how does this... Oh, cool. It, it shows you when the uh, addition is correct, I think. Let me look. Neat. All right, I can probably... This is probably correct. I just need to move some shit around. Okay, which one is wrong, though? Mm. Nope, now they're all wrong. Right, 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 right. Okay. Okay. 10, 22. Oh, this is too much, isn't it? Okay. Uh, 
I don't know why my brain's not wrapping around this one. So 22, um, 32, 6. Uh, no, that's right. So the, the outermost one is correct, too, actually. Um, and then... Why would that change it? There we go. That was kind of brute force, to be honest, but it's fine. Ah, the joy of solving puzzles. Does Darklaw have to do this every time she goes to her office? I don't think this is Darklaw's office. I think this is where the storyteller lives and no one else is allowed. Hopefully Siv comes back. Professor, you did it! Mm. Professor? Does Professor, you're so much smarter than I thought you'd be! <laughs> Doesn't it seem peculiar to you, Luke? To get here, we had to make our way beyond the guard post and through the knight's garrison. That would normally be considered sufficient defense against intruders, or so one would imagine. Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. There were several knights around as well. And yet, in addition, we found that contrivance in place on the door. That would suggest to me that something of great importance must be contained within. Oh, we're doing this again. Let's go on in and find out, Professor. Whoa! Going to uh, uncapture my cursor again. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, it's going to be ugly for a second. Whoa. Ah, eight. The classical final chapter. I'm here. Oh, I thought we were in the tower for a second. <laughs> it's finally starting. The last witch trial. The witch's court will no longer serve any purpose once the great witch Bazella is burned. I'm here too. Uh, but Espella isn't Bazella. I'm not buying it one bit. I mean, the storyteller is her father. I don't know what happened between them, but a father would never do that to his child. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think you're right, Maya. But no one else does. They're all throwing accusations at her. I just feel so sorry for Espella. It's like she's not even in the room. They didn't actually see it was Espella. It was just someone in a red overcoat. My dad knows him. My dad. It feels like this whole case. I love how that is actually just a joke for us because that stream doesn't exist. Yeah, nobody else knows. Deleted from history. It feels like this whole, except, um... I think Tiny Electric Gremlin is the one who clipped all the remaining ones that still exist. It, it feels like this whole case is under some kind of bad spell. A spell? Yeah. We just can't see it yet. That's why it's so vital that we expose the real witch behind all this. And we've got to do it during this trial. During this trial. I believe in you, Nick. Oh, by the way. Hmm? Yeah. What are you going to do during this trial? I mean, if you were thinking about watching... What? You mean you don't want me by your side? Just gonna screen cap this for like two seconds. Give me a minute. I'm a Spella trying not to listen to this. <laughs> I'm just going to stare at this little worm on the ground until she stops making noise. Stop talking to me. Stop, I, please, I am for a... the love of God. I'll strangle the life out of you. I'll go into the fire for being a regular murderer, not just a witch. <laughs> I didn't take you for such a cold-hearted guy, Nick. That's not what I mean. Now, let me finish before you just start jumping to conclusions. What I was going to say is you can't let people see you. You're supposed to be, you know, dead. You were cast into the flames, remember? Hmm. Oh, right. That. You mean, after I was on trial for the murder of Sir Top Hat? Ha ha ha! Don't underestimate me, Sir Blue Knight! Huh? I've already got it covered! 
Oh, no. he used spirit channeling to make my tits no, huge, no, so no. I look Shut different. No, 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 shut up, shut up, no! Oh, okay, okay, all right. Check it out, I stole this. Nah, I, I knew, like, that would be a cool idea, but I knew they wouldn't do anything like that because nobody's died in this game, so they wouldn't mm, use that ability. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I found it in Barnum's room, and I figured I'd take, uh, uh, borrow it for a while. Don't tell me you're going to trial wearing that helmet. I sure am. I can't be Maya the Ironclad without being clad in some iron. Let's just hope that Barnum doesn't- Puts handcuffs on her. Now you're good. It's <laughs> very funny. Let's just hope that Barnum doesn't flip out if he sees you wearing his trusty headgear. Th that's Maya! You meanie! Oh, I, re I really like Barnum. I don't want him to yeah. be Yeah! You've got to save a spell, right? Yeah, we've established that, Maya. You fucking... Um... You fucking human conversation, Lou. It's time to break whatever human bad spell... Human conversation. It's time to break whatever bad spell a spell is under and put an end to these witch trials once and for all. Right! You're okay with that, aren't you, Espella? <laughs> oh, they got that shit set up pretty quick. Dark Law was ready. I've been waiting for this for 15 fucking years. There's a ton of people out there, Nick. Let's do I'm this. I'm Nick. Come on. Hmm. Now, as scheduled. God, I love Ah, there that's my favorite British pronunciation of a word scheduled. Scheduled. That and um oh my god, what is it? Uh strength. Route? Strength. The trial Strength? of Espella Cantabella shall commence forthwith. Knights of the court, are you ready now to cross your swords of justice? No. The Knights of the Inquisition have spent countless years trying to track down the elusive Great Witch. The secret of her identity shall finally be brought to light. If all those present, pay attention. So that the truth may be burned into your memory. I think something about her voice is fucked up on the emulator, actually. It's like got oh. a it's got a little bit of like greeble on it, where it's like it, it, Chunk it, to it. Today, the legend of the great Oh, Wars I love that! Closed chapter Rad. in the history of Labyrinthia. You could cut the atmosphere with a knife. You want to take that again? It's so loaded, but at the same time, oddly subdued. I how do Americans? How do Americans say strength? Yeah, strength. The whole truth shall be revealed to all. The moon, eye of the night, shall bear witness to that. Yo, she sounds like a witch. Don't Yo, you that's kind of Defender. that's kind of goth. Yo, she. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of witchy. She do be kind of witchy, though. <laughs> Your Honor, the defense is ready. How regrettable. I see you won't allow yourself to be provoked. All right. Ugh, God. Sorry. Every time I have to change this, it poops. You may now begin your opening statement, High Inquisitor Dark Law. Ah, oh, dude, the banisters, like, behind him, like, the banners, they flow in the wind. That was pretty cool. Thank you. People of Labyrinthia, the story has ended. Its end has been sealed through the storyteller's death. The one who put an end to the life of the storyteller and to the story which governed our lives was the Great Witch Bazella. A foul embodiment of evil who has long been lurking amongst us, concealed deep within the consciousness of a certain girl. I love her poses. Sure... Pose, pose, pose. <laughs> I'm sure you're all aware of her name. I refer, of course, to that cat. Oh, fuck, she's not. She's not, okay. 
Huh. Huh. Uh, also, why are we letting her cat in the cage? That seems kind of unsafe. The cat's not a witch. Kitty, or is kitty. it? Or is it? Come down from there, please. Today, Hang on, let me get class. a spell. Levitate, levitate. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Today at dusk, a tragedy unfolded right in front of us all. Someone in chat, yo, Espella Contabella is hella bazella. <laughs> <laughs> let me spit it a cappella. That dragon ate my dad. It was kind of sad. Your dad? <laughs> Fuck! Uh, Twas nightmarish vision that we shall never be able to forget. That fearsome fire beast of which we had only heard tell through legend returned at the hand of the great witch. I'm trying to keep an eye out for the, the bell in that, that illustration. Ah. Indeed. It was just as in the illustrations of the legendary fire. And the girl, within those, within whose heart lies the great witch herself, has committed a final and most heinous crime. I love, she, I, ugh, I just love claw weapons. <laughs> they're really cool. The crime of patricide. Man, give me a claw <laughs> weapon that's immediately S tier. Give me a claw weapon that like extends double S tier. May this child serve as an offering. An offering to the storyteller who can be with us no longer. Okay. Thank you, High Inquisitor. The Inquisition may now begin proceedings. This unthinkable crime took place in the- Hold on, Amy, are you using the blender? What are you doing? I'm making hot stickers! Oh! Wonderful! <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, I anticipated it. Sorry, the blender's really loud, so I would have had it to mute. <laughs> Everyone is a witness. Surely there can be no need for a formal interrogation. You, you can't say that. Right at the fucking gate. I suggest you mind your temper, Defender. In a few moments, you will have no option but to accept the truth. Once we hear it from the very mouth of the accused. Oh my God, she's dark claw. Says someone in chat. <laughs> from a speller. The Inquisition hereby demands that the accused Espella Cantabella testify about her crime. Or rather, that she confess to it. No. <laughs> Fuck, oh gooby. Uh, <laughs> the Inquisition's demand request shall be granted. Bring Espella Cantabella down to the witness stand. Do we need to? This is it. The last trial. In all likelihood, Espella will admit to the charges. I have only one chance to break whatever spell she's under. When she testifies, there are bound to be some clues to the truth hidden in there. Man, these, uh, these edibles ain't <laughs> shit. Oh. <laughs> so, second place ain't shit. <laughs> Now that you're here, witness. God, that's funny. <laughs> State your name and tell us your real name as well. Espella Cantabella, but I have another name too. Bazella. Oh, she said it. Guilty. Uh, order! Order! Order in the court! Then you really do admit that you are the great witch? You openly concede that you are Berzella herself, the cause of all evil and destruction. Yes. I knew it. I knew it. We're done. She's Berzella. How, how terrifying. I mean, she killed her own father. How dare she kill our beloved storyteller? We don't want a trial. We want to see her ban, ban, ban. Oh, did I not mention I, Amir, am actually the Grey Witch Bazella? <laughs> oh my god. The Inquisition was right. The accused herself has spoken. It would seem there is no need for an interrogation. I assure you, there is none. Someone in chat. My other name is Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> my friends call me Kyle. <laughs> what? 
The only possible verdict has been clear to everyone from the very beginning. I have a terrible tickle in my Probably throat. Probably Maya. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. Oh, the, the cat on her pocket. That's kind of cute. Let's hear a spell as, uh, the accused side of the story. Can Yeah, can I request you do Maya doing a stupid night voice? Yeah, I'll try. Magic exists in this world, right? So if you think about it, a speller could be under the influence of a spell too. Uh, I'm sorry, who the uh, fuck are you? Um, what I would like to know is this. Just who in the world are you, young knight? Oh, me? How do I put it? I feel as if we have met somewhere before. It was... Hmm, where was it again? Hold on. I have to block someone in chat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we have it. It's just your imagination, your honor. I mean, uh, <clears throat> my lord, as for who I am, I'm with Sir Blue Knight. Not in a romantic way, of course. Is this a friend of yours, Defender? Ah, uh, yes! And, um, don't comment on the helmet, please. She, she really wouldn't, uh, like to have her face seen. How can I put this gently? It's not something you'd want to look at. <laughs> what are you talking about? You make it sound like there's a problem with my face! <laughs> I can assure you, we have no interest in you, miss. Although, I do wonder where you acquired that particular helm. Why is that? A helm of that ilk is not something you can simply purchase from a stall, a street stall. Well, uh, I found it in the forest. Find us keepers, you know. What are you doing, Maya? You promised you wouldn't draw any attention. <laughs> Sorry, Nick, I lost it a bit. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, anyway, the defense's opinion is as follows. We should hear the defendant's testimony before coming to a verdict. There may be some things even she isn't aware of. How amusing. As this is to be the last witch trial ever held, perhaps it is only fitting that we cross swords before you accept your defeat. I agree. <laughs> Thus, the accused herself will now testify. Miss Cantabella... Tell the court of your involvement in this incident. I went down to the 7 Eleven and I got myself a Slurpee. But then I set the 7 Eleven on fire. What are you doing? <laughs> She's telling her story. <laughs> <laughs> I finally realized that Basella has been lying dormant within me. Once evening fell and the rain ceased. I climbed up the wooden stairs of that bell tower and awaited the parade. I waited for my father's speech to end, and then I summoned the fire dragon. I don't know why I killed my father. Hmm. That was a very unusual testimony. When you used magic against your father, were you doing so as a speller Cantabella, or as the great witch Bazella? Uh, uh, or was it Kyle? Most fascinating query. However, it matters not. The Inquisition has ingeniously solved the query by disregarding it. <laughs> what matters is that Bazella exists within that girl. Being a witch is a crime. Such a fundamental rule will always hold. And this girl here is not just any witch, she is the Great Witch. Espella has admitted the charges just as I suspected. I just hope I can find some contradictions in her testimony. If I don't, we can kiss this trial goodbye. The defense may begin the interrogation. Defender, steady your sword of justice. Should I see it waver or point in the wrong direction, I will not hesitate to cut down your arguments and end this interrogation. You had better keep that in mind. All right. Let's, uh, let's ah. say. I have a tangle in my hair. Owie, owie, owie. Ah. I got it. 
Saving. Okay. Al, why are you sitting in the middle of the room, man? Okay. You say you finally realized. Uh, you, yes, I've always had a feeling, but my memory is rather hazy. I've always felt as though I'm not who I think I am, and that I've forgotten something very important. <laughs> Incidentally, that little ding from the air fryer at the right time was great. <laughs> I didn't hear it. When did you become aware of Bazella's presence within you? It was when I went to the Great Archive with Mr. Layton and Luke. Ever since I saw the mural depicting Bazella, I started having strange flashbacks. I saw things from the distant past. Memories of the legendary fire. The legendary fire? I saw it. I was there when it happened. I saw the town consumed by flames. You couldn't have. That's impossible. The legendary fire occurred over a hundred years ago, and there were no survivors. None? Then how the fuck did you write it down? I yes, I know that. I'm also noticing some contradictions in the concept of that entirely. But it's true. I remember it happening. Because I'm Basella. Let me, real quick, uh, I want to see what I have. Mm. Flower-covered robe. Okay. Mechanism. Let's look at the details. It's a mechanism. Okay. Bell tower sketch. Uh, t okay, that's not actually very helpful. Wooden stairs of the bell tower. Are there stairs? Wasn't it something about the stairs being, like, you couldn't enter them because the door was, like, locked or something? I, or is that... Uh, like, oh, I God. think that's something else. I mean, it looks like there's stairs in the diagram. Wait, so. there's no stairs going up to the top with oh, the Oh, I can move this. Okay. The stairs don't go all the way up to the bell. She doesn't say she goes up to the top. Mm, she okay. just says she's going up the bell tower. Hold it! Where were you before that? We were looking for you. Thank you. Uh, some, uh, some are pork and some are chicken. Okay. Important, guys. I'm not sure. When I came to, I was in the town. It was pouring, so I wanted to go to Aunt Patty's bakery and wait for it to stop. But I couldn't face her, so I just went to the forest instead. You see, I'm actually the great witch. The reason I'm a baker, I was trying to bake the town. The whole fucking oh thing. God. You Girl, were gingerbread. That would be a weird twist. So you were in the forest until the incident. We couldn't find you, though. The rain finally stopped and the time came, so I made my way over to the town square. I was feeling strange, as if I wasn't myself. Like this. Ah. Then I noticed I was up in the bell tower, looking down at the square. This spell is not a witch, and that means there's got to be something strange about this statement. Witness, continue your testimony. Yes, my lord. Some of the fire dragon. I'm just gonna press all of them. You summon the fire dragon with that spell, Granworm, right? Granworm. Granworm. Gran uh, yes, that's the one. Although I won't say it now. I'm sure something terrible would happen if I did. That's fine. Absolutely fine. No need to prove that statement. In fact, the court forbids you to prove it. <laughs> of course I won't say it. Come on. This is supposed to be the Great Witch? Look at her. There's no way a spell is a witch. It must be like you said, Nick. Someone's cast an evil spell on her. Something in this testimony keeps nagging at me, that's for sure. I just need to figure out what. Is that the gap in time when she forgets her memory? That may be because you didn't kill him. It's useless, Defender. Witness, who killed the storyteller? It, it was me. Do you think she has, like, a hidden, some kind of, like, wooden, uh, what are they called? Tablea Magica or whatever in her claw so she can yeah, cast spells? Yeah, her gloves spells. are her own Tablea Magica. Yeah. Because the witch, um... 
the the other pointy hatted witch who's been showing up has like had those same claws basically. Mm. I summon the fire dragon. I I killed him. <sighs> the storyteller chose his own death. That is a fact that cannot be changed. Tis common knowledge that all things written in the story will become a reality. And Bazella's appearance has been written into the story's final chapter. She has no choice but to act at the role that has been written for her. Hmm. In other words, everything that happens, uh, everything happens in accordance with the storyteller's story. Is then why aren't we arresting him for making witches? Um, Nick. Well, he's dead. <laughs> Have you noticed how weird a spell is acting today? No, Maya, I haven't. She's like a puppet, but who's pulling the strings? Hi! Meow. Eve. Nick, look! Check it out, it's Eve! That's really dangerous. <laughs> I don't think a cat's emotional support is going to help us out all that much. Well... This is an unexpected intrusion, but as we're in the middle of an interrogation, I will ask the witness to carry on with her testimony. Yes, my lord. Hi, Eve. <laughs> it's funny, Al just came over to sit next to me, too. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, I'm I am a witch, though. I'll admit to I that. I'm just going to speed things along a little bit. Okay. Present. Uh, okay, I mean... It, I was right! Yeah, I guess. Like, it... it. Oh. No, I don't think you were. What? I climbed the wooden stairs of that bell tower. Oh, it's this one, yeah. No, you, you, you were thinking of the right thing, but it was a different... Uh... Vigilantes were guarding the bell tower all day. It was dumb, I... Is that the vigilante's report? That's weird. I thought I looked over everything and I don't remember seeing that. I guess I literally just must have like gotten distracted by the bell tower diagram and not looked at the last piece of evidence. Indeed. Hmm. And according to this, the vigilantes have been constantly guarding the entrance to the bell tower ever since it appeared. However, there is nothing about Espella going up the tower in their report. Objection. Your memory must have failed you. That girl is a witch. The great witch at that. It's only natural to assume that she used something akin to invisibility magic. Isn't that so, witness? Yes. I used an invisibility spell to enter the tower and notice. No! Even, even magic follows certain rules in this world. Witches need to be holding a Talea Magica in order to use magic. And you weren't in possession of one at the time. Yes, I was. It's in my gloves. Oh, fuck. <laughs> How horrifying your ignorance is. Excuse me? Did you honestly think the difference between a regular witch and the great witch was in name alone? The great witch, unlike other witches, can command any magic she desires without the use of a witch's scepter. Objection! I didn't know that! That's news to me! <laughs> <laughs> Every labyrinthian should know about that. A witch's scepter can only hold two magic gems at once. But this one? Who ever heard of a great witch that could only use two spells? Ah, fuck. Order! Order! In any case, this should convince you that the accused entered the tower. Th this is a sketch showing footprints? It was raining before the parade reached the town square. Obviously, if you walk through muddy streets before climbing up a staircase, you will inevitably leave footprints on the steps. This sketch shows that there were indeed muddy footprints present on the bell tower stairs. And since you'd no doubt be quick to ask, I can tell you that they match the sole of the accused shoes. Meow. It's certain that the accused climbed up the bell tower after the rain had fallen. Guilty. Very well. The court accepts this sketch as evidence. 
I almost pity you, Defender. <clears throat> the evidence you threw in our faces with such verve was sadly useless. Verve? Did you know you can subscribe? To Indeed, it would seem there were no problems with that testimony after all. Let us not waste time. If you could carry on with the interrogation. That is, if the Defender hasn't run out of ideas yet. The judge seems ready to announce the verdict at any second now. I've got to find a flaw in her testimony and fast. I need a solid lead in this case. It was something about her waiting before the rain. But yeah, let's take a look at that. Uh... Okay. I climbed the wooden steps of that bell tower and awaited the parade. Is it... Is it that the rain ceased? Because... I mean, that doesn't... Is, that, there, that, is, there, an, is there a previous thing on this testimony? Is this the start of the testimony? I mean, kind of. I, I, I waited for my father's speech to end. Okay, she was already up there. Yeah, I I don't think there's a con I mean I don't see a contradiction there. Um why is Eve there? That's really throwing me off. Meow. Let's try this again, see if there's anything Ah, there we go. Objection. They didn't see you. <sighs> blah 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 blah. Meow. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just looking. Just looking around. Use my eyes. Hold it. <laughs> Is there anyone suspicious? Kitty. <laughs> Kitty. Oh. Hold it. I think this is the last one I haven't done. Maybe I missed it, but I yeah, we we went over this. I'm just going to keep hint coining through cuz I think I know what <laughs> I need to do, just not where it is. It's not like we don't have enough. I did I don't understand. It looks like the hint is on all of them. Do I just need to investigate the cat anywhere? That's dumb. Why would I do that? It's pretty, like, unexpectable. I mean, like, I guess I would try that eventually, but... Oh, there we go. That's weird. All right. Okay. Okay, watching the cat. She changed. Blink. Blink.
This is where I thought it would be, but I didn't see the cat move. Nothing's nothing's changed. <laughs> Link. <laughs> what do you have to say, kitty? <laughs> Meow. I. Yeah, I. Maybe, maybe we just have to talk to the cat during this part. I, I am not seeing a visual cue for this. And it's not doing the thing where it slows down the text to let you know that, uh, someone else can be interrogated. Okay. I mean, it's like, I don't know. The cat admitted it. Yeah, this is like, okay, let's try it. Hang on. Hang on! What do you think, Cat? I have a question Meow. for you, Eve. Eve! Just what on earth are you doing, Defender? Huh? I, I, I was just. Eve is a spell's friend, so I was wondering if she might want to have some input. Hmm. <laughs> Whether or not this furry little witness can contribute to the testimony seems to be obvious at a glance. I expect that cat to stand up, and it's just got super long legs. How dare you. I guess questioning a cat wasn't the best idea. Where's Luke when you need him? Hmm. Do you wish to say something, High Inquisitor Dark Law? I just remembered a line from a fairy tale that I heard when I was little. A fairy tale about Bazella. The great witch Bazella is always accompanied by a black cat. Or oh, it's so claimed. It would seem that there was a grain of truth in that fairy tale after all. That's true. Eve always follows me. Always. Oh, oh okay. Nick, that means. So it's gonna be because Eve is not always following her because there's no cat footprints. Mmm. They must have been together when the incident happened too. Now that she mentions it, I love Ghost Trick. <laughs> I think I saw a black cat at the bell tower when it happened. Oh yes, Eve is with me all the time. Your Honor. Yes, Defender. The defense requests Miss Contabella's comment be added to the testimony. I don't... I mean, I guess that probably would have happened had I talked to Eve at all. So I guess I should have just tried that. I was trying to save time, but I think I wasted it. Very well. Request granted. Witness, add what you just said about that cat to the testimony. Yes, my lord. Meow. Have they played Ghost Trick? I'm not playing Ghost Trick on stream. Objection. Hang on! Meow, meow. I'm sorry, Spella. But there's a problem with that statement. Problem? You went up to the bell tower in the evening after it stopped raining, correct? It, yes, I think so. After all, there's proof of that. My footprints were left on the stairs. That's right. There were footprints on the steps. However, there's something missing in this sketch. Missing? What do you mean, Defender? There are no paw prints of Espella's cat, Eve. Oh. You said Eve was following you, right? In which case, naturally... There would have to have been paw prints on the stairs as well. Ah! Oh, you foolish boy. She was carrying the cat. That would make and sense. Say something that makes sense. Such a silly assertion as can, that can be easily explained. The cat must have climbed onto the accused shoulders. Was that not the case, witness? Uh, yes. It was on my shoulders, I think. So I'm noticing something that anytime Darkwala asks her a question, yeah. she like, she goes like, or like answers it accordingly. Yeah. She dislikes dirt, so when it's muddy, she tends to climb up onto Objection. my shoulders. Objection! No! Then why didn't you say that before? You testified the cat was following you. Objection! It, it's... I'm, what Objection. I'm hoping is that um, those yellow claw marks will, uh, she's gonna have like a puppeteer gimmick where um, 
She's gonna have yellow strings from her fingertips. Rad. Rad. This is such a trifling matter, Defender. You would do well to just let it go. Objection! That's not how I do, baby. It have might you seem... never seen me before? I, I guess I have. It might seem that way to you, but it has important implications. It shows that Espella's testimony is unreliable. What, what do you mean? For a while now, Espella hasn't been testifying in her own words. All the vital parts of her testimony have come from High Inquisitor Darklaw. She made Espella say those things. Objection! Are you claiming that I, the High Inquisitor, am responsible for making the accused commit perjury? Well, if that's not the case, then there's one more possibility. Namely, that the witness, Mr. Miss Contabella, has no clear recollection of what happened this evening. <gasps> what? Are you saying the witness has no memory of the incident? Espella, do you actually remember what happened? Do you remember entering the bell tower and summoning the fire dragon? Yes. Don't say no, Espella. You say you also remember the legendary fire which burned this town to the ground. Yes, yes I do. Even though it was a long time ago. Oh, is she getting them confused? And you remember tonight's events just as clearly. Do you truly remember summoning that terrifying dragon and killing your own father? I... I... I don't know. I don't know what happened. I'm Bazella, am I not? I can remember it, the legendary fire, so then why? Why can't I remember anything about what happened tonight? Your Honor, the defendant is confused and cannot remember what happened. Therefore, her confession that she is the Great Witch is not credible. Objection. Objection. That's some real lawyering, actually. <laughs> What are you talking about, Defender? She admits that she's Bazella. Why are you Scottish now? <laughs> I'm sorry, I got I got heated. <laughs> Bex. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Her testimony doesn't hold together. I I am more than one person. Who's the other one with Envy? No! Uh! Whoa! Espella! Hmm. <laughs> I take nap nap right here. Court attendants, carry the accused to the emergency care room. Meow. Eve Not... just starts taking her like by the scruff. <laughs> A brief summary of the accused's current situation. I am going to pee first. Are, okay. Are you gonna get up and no? <laughs> <laughs> okay, be right back. Yeah, I'll put my dish away. Oh boy. This juice. Okay, I'm here. Siv, are you here? I am here. Okay. Amy bought some peach lemonade, and it certainly is a drink. Mmm. Espella Cantabella became extremely agitated during the interrogation and proceeded to lose consciousness. She remains unconscious, although her life is not in danger. Until the verdict, at least. Well, that's a relief. She had me pretty worried there. Nick, I don't mean to sound insensitive or anything, but this is just what we needed. I'm not sure I follow. The professor is out looking for clues to help us out, right? That means all we've got to do is buy some more time until he returns with his findings. Maya's right. That's just what we're going to do. Your Honor! Yes, thank you. <laughs> it's impossible to continue the trial while the defendant isn't present. I am making direct <laughs> eye contact with you right now. I am looking everywhere but forward and also 
it's possible that someone at the crime scene was manipulating the defendant. Oh, wow. Three, three dollar word there, Mr. Defender. <laughs> manipulating? Hmm. <laughs> What is your opinion on this, High Inquisitor Dark Law? My opinion is that the Defender is just playing for time. Playing for time! <laughs> Everyone playing for time. Playing for. She saw right through my plan. Playing for time! <laughs> However, he's a funny little man. Dance for me. Go ahead. <laughs> As long, of course, as the townsfolk who have gathered here have no objections, I'll let him put on a show. Very well, then. Dance, monkey. So be it. Oh, <laughs> skipped that. <gasps> Layton, maybe? Paradise? No. No! You, Defender, stop messing around. What he said, what he said. We want to see a girl die. Order! 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 If this... anyone here should be silenced, it is not us, but that defender over there. Huh. Um, and who are you? You ask who we are? We are the ones who watch the bell tower, guard the bell tower, and take cover from the rain under the bell tower. We are the bell tower guards, known as the vigilantes, and I am the captain. Oh, right, that guy showed up at the crime scene when we were trying to investigate. You there, you, defender! Yes? What was it you said earlier while taking advantage of all the confusion like the rascal you are? Ah. Uh... You said someone at the crime scene may have been manipulating the accused. We vigilantes were at the crime scene. Are you suggesting we were manipulating the witch? No, no, Making that's it not all a, about okay, us. Okay, okay. No, I no, no. I don't think you can silence us like that. We shall have our say now. They sure will, no matter what anyone else has to say about it. We are the vigilantes, dutiful and righteous, superior, happy, fulfilled on the job. Our passion is burning and our blood is red. I I, I figured if you fail to let us speak out, we will have no choice but to turn to violence. <laughs> hmm. I disapprove of violence. The burning of which is being a necessary exception, naturally. In which case, it's best to just let them have their say. Huh? You may not know this, but it's not unusual for the accused to fall unconscious in this court. No kidding. Let us lend our ears to these brave knights. We shall hear what they witnessed. Hmm. Very well. These knights will be accepted into the court as evidence. They may testify. People of Labyrinthia, did you hear the word of the judge? No! Sorry, let, 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 let me speak up. Today's <laughs> trial is not over yet. In fact, it is just beginning. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Now, Vigilante Captain Boystrom, great name by the way, you may testify to your heart's content. Lady Darklaw, thank you for this honor. What, you're not going to change my nameplate? I'm an individual. I will talk to my heart's content, you can be sure of that. Oh joy. <sighs> so much for buying some time. What do you mean? This guy's absolutely gonna elongate the trial. He's just gonna make everything worse. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I, I'm gonna guess this is just a joke for the sake of this, Siv. I'm sorry. I don't know if we're actually gonna get that, lady. What? Wait a minute! What the heck is this?! We- <laughs> We vigilantes despise injustice and inequality. We shall remain united, friendly, confident, and self-reliant. We have come to do away with this fiendish defender trying to protect the witch. We shall fight and we shall protect our town from this villainous defender. Yeah, whatever. Did I just hear something crash onto the floor? 
honourable vigilantes, let us first hear your proud names. I am vigilante number one, the captain of this unit. My name is Boystrom. I am vigilante number two. My name is Lotta Lance. <laughs> And I am vigilante number three. My name is Balmung. They say dogs that bark don't bite, but I assure you, I do bite. Vigilante number four. My, hey, you also be this one. I want to be the old one, and I want you to be, you know which one you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> vigilante number four. Name's Lywood. I, I'm vigilante number five, and my name is Shaky. And I, vigilante number six, am no more than a hopeless slave to love. My humble name, my humble name is Severus. <laughs> I am the steel angel gracing the vigilantes with my sweet presence. My name is Foxy, don't you dare forget it. I, I hope you're the witch because the witch had long blonde hair. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna skip you. Bye, Trudden. <laughs> Vigilante number nine, I go by the name Dipitron to Trachukamu. As for me, I am the tenth vigilante. Nothing more, nothing less. Just that. Vetoed. <laughs> it's no use. I cannot remember that many new names and faces at once. Well,. Anyway, honorable witnesses, you may testify about this evening's incident. Tell us about everything you saw on this dreadful night. This really is hard mode. This is so silly. This is so dumb. Okay. Wait, how the witness stand gets so long? <laughs> it is... We have been guarding the bell tower ever since it appeared. No one's ever said a bad word about us. The defender tried to hide decisive proof that the girl is a great witch, but he couldn't fool us. Before the rain, after the rain, at no point did a single suspicious person approach the bell tower. Well then, was I also oh yeah, one? you are also yes. this one, you're correct. But then suddenly footprints appeared on the bell tower stairs. When I saw them, I thought, that's a witch. Mm, my eyes went hazy. It it made me shake, and I got dizzy. Good God. The rain stopped and a beautiful butterfly appeared at our side. The rain is so loathsome. My steel stilettos get dirty from the mud, and my lovely hair loses its texture. Here, we've been going for a little while. I'm going to screen cap this and once again on Twitter post, Hey, we're still going, because I feel like this will attract <laughs> some people. <laughs> oh, boy. Hi, pal. Hey, buddy. Give me a second. My whole computer is chugging and chopping. Oh boy. Yeah, it's it's overheated to shit. Maybe I shouldn't do this. <laughs> yeah, let's let's just not. This is I'm like worried this is actually gonna blow shit up. Okay. It's fine. I'm I'm not reading for you. And I did my day when I discovered the intruder, I tell you. I have I'm been so mulling. glad I get to read for that one too. <laughs> I have been mulling over this incident, and just now the realization dawned on me. I remember nothing. <laughs> well, I suppose that can be summed up by saying you all did the best you could. The vigilantes have been taking turns guarding the bell tower since its appearance. <laughs> Don't make They're joke. doing wonderful. Don't make jokes, chat. I hope Amir is the 11th. <laughs> uh, only a witch could have gone past them unnoticed. Hmm. Yes, that would seem to be true. However, I must say something caught my attention in that testimony. Defender. Yes, Your Honor. Have you been concealing important evidence? Huh? Why would I do that? I think this one's... No, okay, this is the second one. Don't think you'll get off the hook by claiming you forgot about it. Right, Captain Boystrom? Of course he won't. Defender, you and your companion tampered with the crime scene. And tried to sneak away with a very important piece of evidence. We did? Wait, is he talking about the pendant? But, 
In the end, we gave it to you guys. We weren't trying to steal it or anything. <laughs> uh, fuck. I. It's like hard to tell. That's which number one. two. You can yeah. tell because the, captain the guys has on the, the left. Sash. Yeah. Yep. That's absurd. We saw you putting it in your pocket. Oh, right. That. The evidence we retrieved from you has been passed on to the Inquisition. We've done our citizenly duty. Isn't that so, Lady High Inquisitor Dark Law? Hmm. This thing, was it? Oh, that's uh, the pendant that a smell of Contabella is always wearing, is it not? We've seen that thing. We've th seen that thing. That's a speller's pendant. She never goes out without it. Wait, didn't she have it on earlier? That's weird. It has to be her after all. She went to the bell tower and used witchcraft. Very well. Battle, don't do this. The pendant shall be accepted as evidence. Well, the accused was caught in the act, so this pendant doesn't change the situation much. Although, it should at least clear any doubts as to whether or not she was at the crime scene. Aw, oh, man. If they appeared just five seconds later, they wouldn't have seen us swiping that thing. Right, Nick? Uh, are you okay? You're spacing out. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Was it just me? Or did Darklaw look mighty uncomfortable just now? What's more, in closer inspection, that pendant appears to have some blackish stains on the, on the strap, and it burns green. <laughs> Defender, you may begin your interrogation. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. Does the Grim Grimoire have anything in it right now? Oh, no, okay. I want to I wanna read that new piece of evidence. Uh... It's got some stains on it. Okay, let's review what we got. This again. Bibbidi uh, bip. Mechanism from the tower has a hole. Sketch on the entire bell tower obtained from the vigilantes. Let's take a look around. Oh, is the pendant the uh, one of the Talia magical stones? Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> no one has ever said a bad word about us. The defendant tried to hide decisive proof. I mean, we did do that. Before the rain, after the Before rain. Before the no rain, after the rain, at no point did a single suspicious person approach the bell tower. But then... Uh, but then suddenly... Okay, that makes sense. My eyes went hazy, uh, so he didn't see anything. Oh. Maybe he got uh, memory wiped or whatever the fuck. We'll but... check. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> You're, uh... Oh, yeah, Mr. Shaky, right? I'm dead. Oh, honey. Oh, no. This anemic motherfucker. <laughs> yes. Shaky's the name. Are you feeling okay? Yes, I'm perfectly peachy. Looks can be deceiving. Did you see anything around the time of the incident? I've, I've told you. My eyes were hazy. I was dizzy. And the ringing in my ears, like the crying of a girl. That's okay. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, but what I'd like to know is how Mr. Shaky got into the vigilantes in the first place. Maya, uh, maybe it's better not to ask. Yeah, what does that mean, Who's actually? The butterfly? I assume he's gonna be like, I'm referring to her. A butterfly, you say? Yes, a butterfly. Happily floating around, watching us from above. When I saw it, I thought, maybe my goddess has turned into this butterfly. What are you talking about? Gracefully moving from one flower to the next, like my goddess of love, the divine foxy. I'm the steel angel gracing the vigilantes with my sweet presence. Foxy, don't you dare forget it. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh, Nick, about that butterfly. I think that must have been a witch using a transformation spell. Seriously? You think a witch turned into a butterfly and flew up the bell tower? Uh, okay. By the way, what happened to that butterfly? Oh, well, it carelessly flew straight into the fire torch and burned. Huh? I felt enlightened by that sight. The butterfly cannot resist its dangerous attraction to the flame. You're thinking of moths. Butterflies don't do that. Even if it results in death. Perfect, thank you. That was quite the exhaustive reply. Hello? Hello? 
Can you hear me, John? Yeah. Can you not hear okay, me? Okay, my internet, my internet died for like half a half a minute there. Oh. So you have steel high heels. <laughs> yes, boy. Kachow. See, Foxy's heels are always polished to sparkle. Wow, I can see myself in the reflection. They're like mirrors. Did you notice anything suspicious during the incident? I love that the camera pans up to avoid the crotch shot when she does yeah, that. Yeah, that's clever. Hmm, not really. I was busy having some tea at the time. You were having tea? I made it for her. Tea with milk is just the thing for rainy afternoons. But weren't you supposed to be guarding the bell tower? I couldn't possibly walk around in the rain. My stilettos would get dirty. Oh, these lovely stilettos. Their tips are as sharp as Inquisitor Barnum's sword. And when they're all right, all right. Moving on! Would you st Sorry, I, 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 I assumed fine. you were saying that because you wanted to skip that line. No, Ye I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> That's a funny comment in chat. The foot is the most powerful part of the vigilantes. <clears throat> it's not every day someone offers to tread on you. Maybe it's a labyrinthian custom. <clears throat> I get walked all over in court enough, often enough as it is. I'm here too. Oh, I, I think I do have to investigate this. Yeah, because she said she didn't want to get mod on her. I uh have no idea what you mean. Can I? God. Uh, Don't you also yeah. do you, Nick? No. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you mentioned us. Are there uh, more um, fans of Foxy's? <laughs> yeah, no, sure. Not. Yeah, it's sure cute. there are. All oh, right. Thank you for reminding me. Cerberus is one of us too. It's yeah, Cerberus. I, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I suspected he meant that guy. Oh, ho, that look. Mm. You're not averse to that sort of thing either, a defender. Mm. Oh, you good. Oh, yeah, there you go. No, genuinely. In that case, have a look at this. This is the mark left by Foxy's stiletto. Wow, isn't that amazing? I must say, you've been quite beautifully trodden on there. You... See how exquisitely it, ta it exquisitely tapers to a point. This deserves to be called art. <laughs> oh, the black stuff on the boot. She stepped on the the um the necklace thing. Oh yeah, maybe. Oh, I'm quite jealous, Severus. Such charming beauty, born from mud. About that muddy footprint. Why didn't you wash it off? What? Don't be silly. Have you ever exchanged a handshake with a beautiful singer? It's just like that. Anyway. Foxy was wearing high heels that whole time. That's an important point, I think. <laughs> Do I... I didn't run away! Sorry, sorry, I'm like wondering if I get something from that? I don't think so. Alright, um, well, let's just keep going. This is so fucking long. <laughs> Hold it. You discovered the intruder? Can you tell me more about that? It's zebra cut. Excuse me? If you want to ask me something, address me by my name. Make fun of me because I'm barren and I'll make you regret it. <laughs> make fun of me because I'm barren. <laughs> I'm just a wee barren. Nah, nah, don't hit me. I'm just a wee baron. I'm just a wee baron. It's my birthday. You want a wee baron on his card day? Oh, uh, okay. D Zibbulchin Chuck Mull? Can I get it right? Can I get it? I'm not talking to you one more. <laughs> ah, come on. Um. Can you please tell me about what you know? <laughs> sure, I saw the witch's footprints, that's what I saw. Good job, Maya, but how? Hmm. 
Dizzle bottle claw and sounds kind of Mayan. That's all right. That's a good that joke. Funny. Good job, <laughs> translators. Do you mean these footprints drawn in a sketch? I, I, those are the ones. And then, what did you do after discovering the intruder? The chief told me to report when the intruder I saw, right? Oh fuck! I heard. Okay. <laughs> Hang on! The chief. Excuse me, Mr. Boystrom. <laughs> oh. Oh! What's this? Out of the blue, have some respect for the vigilantes. Is there anything you'd like to comment on from Dizib from number nine's testimony? What What does a British accent sound like again? I. I... All right, well, British accent is, I don't know, somewhere right, around here. Right, right. Comment? Ah, well, certainly. I remembered about his report. Strange footprints appeared on the bell tower's suit suitcase. Suitcase. <laughs> Why didn't you investigate as soon as it was reported to you? We are the fast footed vigilantes, the most dutiful of knights, giving all the utmost sense of accomplishment. It's unthinkable that we would not launch an investigation after a report like that. And yet, I don't recall any such report being passed on to the Inquisition. <clears throat> um, that's right. I had my hands full with assigning tasks to each of the vigilantes myself. So I got hold of a reliable vigilante and gave him the following order. Investigate the suspicious footprints that appeared on the staircase immediately. That's what I said to him. Who was that reliable vigilante? Uh, uh, mm, it, it was, uh... Well, there, uh, somebody blinked. <laughs> oh, shaky. Shaky, no. Shaky, no. <clears throat> can I ask you Is something? You Mr. Hear shaky. Him. Oh, man. Oh, I... Nick, don't. You can't expose that poor guy to your ruthless questioning. Just look at him. He may not be able to take it. <sighs> How am I supposed to talk to him then? Let's try this again. Please excuse me, Mr. Shaky. Right now, sir, I don't think we need to go that far. <laughs> the person the captain asked to investigate the suspicious footprints. Was that you by any chance? <laughs> yes. What? It was him. <laughs> what the fuck? I feel compelled to say this, but... Although Mr. Shaky may be young, very few would describe him as high-spirited. Huh? What? Well, that may be so, but what of it? <sighs> Mr. Shaky, did you not follow orders? Didn't you investigate the footprints? I, and I investigated them. Of course, orders are orders. Everyone looked to be very busy, and no, no one would listen. Me. Now, someone finally asked me about it. V Vigilante Shaky, ready to report. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> shaky. That was a very convoluted testimony. But at least now we know that this young man's report didn't reach anyone because his seniors were too busy to listen. Yeah, people treat me like a baron. Did my report go to waste? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. What's that? The fourth vigilante, Lywood, because he's a liar. Lywood seems <gasps> kind of lost in thought. Nick, let's find out more about the footprints. Yep, let's do it. I can only hope this is all leading somewhere. I mean, you were stalling for time, right? This works. Let us go back to the interrogation. Witnesses continue testifying. Can <laughs> <laughs> That's the fourth one, right? Yeah, lie would, yeah. I want to see if I got anything from that. I did not. Okay. Hold it. Hold on a minute. You saw the footprints on the steps, too? This one was you. Yes. Muddy footprints left by one person from the entrance all the way up. The footprints you saw, are they the ones shown in this sketch? If these are the footprints from the bell tower, yeah. And when did you notice those footprints? After the rain, uh, but still quite some time before the incident. 
Wait, wait a second, live boy. I don't remember you reporting this to me. Mm, yeah, that's right. I didn't report it. Uh, live boy, why not? I thought you were serious about your duty, at least compared to the others. Why did you neglect to report that? Uh, you're right, Captain. It was out of character. I'm sure it's a good reason why I didn't report it to you. Ah, now I remember. Huh? What are you talking about? Yes, I saw them. I saw the muddy footprints in the bell tower. But I didn't report it to the chief, and now I remember why I didn't report it. If that is the case, you will add it to your testimony. Yes, my lord. That's fair. You thought the yeah. footprints were Miss Foxy's. Yeah, she's always doing whatever she likes, causing us nothing but trouble. I was sure she'd entered the bell tower to take shelter from the rain, leaving those footprints. No! Nice to see Angela Mon getting more work. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, boy. How could how could you think that? This place is off limits, isn't it? Sim fucking sees this design. Oh, hey, how tall are you? Uh, <laughs> five foot eleven. Six foot five with stilettos? <laughs> so funny. You're so funny. Six foot five with stilettos and the plume of your helmet? You're so funny. <laughs> Look how fashionable you are, girl. <laughs> I take orders seriously, and I value I didn't catch that last one. Obedience. And Foxy, give us any orders you wish. We will obey you, whatever you require of us. However, you told it uh you told us a different story before, Mr. Lywood. You previously stated that when you saw the footprints, you thought they were those of a witch. Didn't you uh did you think that Miss Foxy was a witch? Well, I didn't mean it literally, it's just that... Uh... Mm. Foxy can be such a bother. You can't help c call her a witch sometimes, you witch! <laughs> you can see what kind of a person she is. If that's the case, then the footprints you saw in the bell tower must have looked like they were left by stilettos. Yeah, those stilettos. She likes to dig them into other men's backs. There are men in this world who enjoy that sort of thing, too. Well... It's best not to think too much about it, Mr. Potter. We'd never mistake those footprints. Fuck. Mr. Foxy's Potter. Foxy's footprints are unique. Soy Baron. Stop, 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 you many. <laughs> why would thought they were just Foxy's footprints? So that's why he didn't report his findings. In case you want to know, they weren't mine. I didn't even have... I, I didn't leave those muddy footprints in the bell tower. Now that's weird. <gasps> She's trembling. So, you had steel high heels. Yes, boy. Okay. See? Foxy's heels are blah blah yeah. blah. Yeah, we already did this one. Okay. God, these animations are so funny. Yeah. Oh, that was somebody. Did you uh, hear that? I did not, actually. I thought that was... Nope. I I thought that was, like, a, a normal sound, actually. No, I heard, like, a... Bang. Yeah, it's a it's a different noise. That was, like, a question mark noise they use for Ace Attorney. The, um... Oh, Okay. I... Oh, you can't back out of this? Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. This is weird. Uh... I'll double check really quick. I'm pretty sure it wasn't that. Maybe I should just let's just speed things along. Okay. Present. Ah. They don't look like foxes. Okay. Objection. That's fair. You seem pretty sure the footprints in the bell tower were Miss Foxy's. In other words, the footprints you saw were f stiletto footprints with pointy tips. Yeah, pointy. They were hers, for sure. And yet, we have a sketch of the footprints as they were found after the incident. Oh, those footprints. They have rounded tips. So you see, Mr. Lywood, your testimony contradicts the evidence. No way! 
That sketch was drawn by the court illustrator, best on how we found the crime scene immediately after the incident. Trans bun. Oh, you know what's great? This game has so little fan art. The only fan art of Foxy I could find was shipping art of Foxy in Rouge. Good. Good shit. I can guarantee that the sketch is accurate. Well, I saw what I saw. There's no way I was wrong. How can you say that? Uh, the reason's pretty simple. If I'd seen footprints like those in the sketch, it wouldn't have occurred to me that they might be foxies. Um, exactly. Those are nothing like foxies. Sweet foxies' footprints look like this. This is quite puzzling. Perhaps the defense can explain this contradiction. Only one trail of footprints was found in the bell tower. One of the witnesses claims the footprints had pointy tips, but the court illustrator's sketch of the crime scene shows they were rounded. Is the witness's account correct, or is it the sketch that shows the truth? Both the witness and the sketch are correct, Your Honor. What? Two different types of footprints were observed in the bell tower. Now, if neither party is mistaken, it means that two trails of footprints were left on the stairs. Objection. It's so obvious that I shouldn't have to mention it, but if you trust that the sketch presents the facts accurately, there was only one trail left on the steps. You can see it quite clearly. Objection! Actually, it's possible the sketch is showing two trails. And how could that be? Let's organize this evening's events on a timeline. Mr. Lywood discovered the footprints soon after the rain stopped, which means that at that point, someone had already entered the bell tower. Yes, that would be the case. These footprints that were observed then had pointy tips. And then, sometime later, another person went up those stairs. But that person left different footprints. Footprints that had rounded tips. Uh, oh, I think I can see where this is going. I'm glad you follow, Your Honor. You see, the second person walked on the footprints that had already been left, perfectly covering them up as they went. What? This explains why only one trail of footprints was left. I love that this, like, doesn't help Phoenix at all because Espella could have still walked to the top of the tower. Yeah. <laughs> They're just buying time. Preposterous. That's just too far-fetched. What makes you say that? Even we can tell you that much. There's no way there were two intruders. Keith. It's a big stretch, honey. No, it's a sketch. Even if a boy of them was witch, I was invisible! We would have seen the... Uh, oh, no, sorry. That's actually you, I think. Yeah, that's Lywood. We would have seen the other one. What you're saying makes sense, but it's a fact that none of you noticed the second intruder. And the only explanation for that is that the second intruder was also a witch who had also made herself invisible when she entered the bell tower. What? What? Order! 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 There were two witches! Objection. Ludicrous. Are you honestly suggesting that two witches managed to sneak into the bell tower? It may seem ludicrous to you, but you can't say it's not a possibility. It's easy to bat around possibilities, but your theory alone doesn't change anything. Or perhaps you have some proof to support your little story. No! Because we do have proof that Espella Cantabella was, in fact, in the bell tower at the time of the crime. Not only was she seen by many people, but this was found at the crime scene afterwards, too. Espella's pendant, huh? If you think there was one more person in the bell tower, then prove it, Defender! Very well then. The defense shall present evidence. That's why they, uh, the amateur vigilante locked the door behind them. It was the witch escaping so they could buy more time. Hmm. Do you have proof that someone other than the accused was in the bell tower? No! I don't! <laughs> I give up! Okay. Um... I feel like it's this and they use the footprints. They wa washed off the mud. I mean, this... 
What, where's the one that says that they locked the door? Do you have evidence for that at all? I don't think I do. Do I have proof that someone other than the accused was in the bell tower? I don't know if I do. Uh, okay. Let's look. Oh, yeah, the raincoat was too big. It doesn't say that, yeah. though. Yeah. I, I feel like it's the row, but I don't have a good reason to think that. Um, no, you just go for it. This could still be a spell. Uh, um, this doesn't help. The bell tower was constantly guarded. There were no trespassers. Okay. Sketch of the entire bell tower. I don't think it's this. I'm just looking. I mean, no. Like, how would how would this help anything? Yeah, let's go for it. Take that! Oh, that's a... Uh, um, what is it? This robe was found at the top floor of the bell tower. As you can see, it's way too big for Espella. Hmm, yes, indeed. It would seem to belong to a much taller person. I hope it's... Vigilantes, I'd like you all to confirm something for me. You it's have been... shaky. Not shaky. You have been guarding the bell tower ever since it appeared, correct? Indeed we have, sir. Had anyone ever gone up to the bell tower before the incident this evening? Of course not. What would be the purpose if we freely allowed people inside? Suspicious or not, sadly, no one ever approaches our bell tower. Also notice that uh, the, the main captain of the night guy has his hood up, so... Mm. I see. How did this robe get up there? Um... Do you get it now? There must have been a second witch in the bell tower! Order! Order! So there were two witches inside that tower. Exactly, Your Honor. It's true that the defendant was seen in the bell tower at the time of the crime. But if another witch was present too, it's impossible to say for sure that it was Miss Contabella who summoned the fire dragon. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Calm down, everyone! We must not let this defender confuddle our understanding of the situation. It was the great witch Bazella that summoned the fire dragon. I'm gonna expose her for what she is! We've braved fierce rapids, scaled high mountains, and crossed vast plains to testify on this court and expose the great witch. Uh, what are they talking about? You'll know soon. High Inquisitor Darklaw, permit us to testify again. No. <laughs> no, that's fine. Thank you. You may go home. You believe you can reveal the truth about the accused? Someone in chat. I just got here. What is happening? Uh, oh, we're my. we're cross examining ten people at once. Yes, Lady Darklaw. We may just be a bunch of commoners, but we shall offer our testimony with passion, purpose, and. Plausibility! Let us speak now for the sake of Labyrinthia! Oh man, for the sake of my sanity, please don't speak. Permission granted. May your words be as sharp as swords. And cut through all the lies and fallacies straight to the something. I missed that last part. Truth. Truth, yep. <laughs> the storyteller finished speaking to the crowds at the town square in the evening. That's when the Great Witch appeared. It, I still cannot forget the sound of that terrible incantation. It was undoubtedly that girl's voice. We ran towards the tower as soon as we saw her, keeping our eyes on her to make sure she didn't escape. These are all of our vigilantes. Foxy, shaky, and sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> we split into two groups at the entrance. One group to guard it, the other to chase down the witch. I was in the first group. Bye. I was one of the pursuers. I ran into the tower and caught the witch. There was no, uh, there was no one but us at the crime scene. We captured the girl. There was no one for anywhere to hide. Ed, there was no other witch. I'm sure of it. I was guarding the entrance and heard the door locked. That's right, young one. The fateful bell tower. The fateful incident, we saw them with our own fateful eyes. I love that that dude is just back and no one's commenting on it. Yeah, nobody's doing anything about it. Well, I suppose that can again be summed up by saying, 
You all did the best you could. The vigilantes were the first to arrive at the crime scene. Their testimony is credible. It does seem so. And if they... And if what they say is indeed true, you know it would be fucking amazing? Huh. If every one of the vigilantes were all of the shades. Oh. It would be decisive proof of the accused's guilt. Our opponent is a witch. The great witch, to be exact. Things probably aren't as simple as they seem. Huh. If you think so, feel free to look for any cracks in their testimony. If there are any, and if you're up for it. Defender, you may begin the interrogation. Okay. Alright, time of the crime. Storyteller finished. I'm actually gonna BRB for a second. Go for it. She appeared. Okay. Okay. I feel like this is probably the one we're gonna we're gonna bonk. I'm on a stream, so yeah. No, okay, I was correct. Yeah, I imagine this is where we uh, present the contraption. I'll wait for Siv. I'm gonna try this snipping thing again. Oh my god. My computer is having like the worst time of its fucking life. Oh goodness, are you waiting for me? I, I am, I'm also, I was trying to snip again with the snip tool, but the snip gotcha. tool looks like yeah, it's, um, it's dead, so. Yeah. I probably will have to go in a little bit because I gotta go pick up my medication, Okay. but if if we're willing to use that as like a break and then start back up again once I get back, I'm down for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my uh my computer's having a lot of troubles. Yeah, if there's a if there's a break, I'm down for that. Yeah. Uh, all right. Oh, okay. I was wrong. Objection. I would have assumed it was the contraption. The eyes of the whole town were on the bell tower and the entrance was locked. Witches may be able to make themselves invisible, but they can't physically disappear, I assume. Which means it's not unreasonable to suggest that escaping from the bell tower was nearly impossible. However, hiding themselves after the incident is a different story. Mm, that's a sketch of the bell tower, isn't it? Most fascinating. Well, Defender, how about you show us? Enlighten us as to where exactly the witch could be hiding. In the bell tower. Yeah, I would... In I'd, the bell? I mean... I, I would like to guess here. In the bell. But these always <laughs> fuck me. I'm just burning all the hint coins, baby. Yeah, no, I was right. Yeah, in the bell. Isabella Isabella. <laughs> she hid here, of course. I wish her name was just Isabella, honestly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, she hid here, of course. At the very top of the bell tower. Objection. It may seem like a plausible thing. I missed the end of that again. However, that part of the bell tower is inaccessible to anyone. The stairs don't go up as far as the belfry. High Inquisitor Darklaw, we're talking about a witch here. A witch can do lots of things that are impossible to us with the use of magic. He's right. Innocent. 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 Okay. If you were a true knight of the court, you would show us evidence rather than trying to justify your vague theories with the use of magic. Arg! She kind of has a point, Nick. How else could someone get to the top of the bell tower? There has to be a way. Was it magic? They feel... Or something a little more plausible? A fucking rope. Whatever it was, I need proof. It is getting late. Siv has to go soon. I can see no point in dwelling on this. Defender, you may continue your interrogation. Uh, okay. That's really strange. 
I'm I'm just gonna I'm keep doing to remember, this. Did did she have the same mole on the side of her face as that one witch did? Because if she's the witch, that'd be so fucking funny. Huh. Okay. Oh, shaky. <laughs> yeah, of course you need to present that thing on her thing and then press this guy. Why wouldn't you try that? A witch could have used magic to remain unseen. Oh, this one's me. Sorry to yeah. disappoint you, but no one used any magic at the time. What makes you so sure? To cast a spell, a witch needs to say that spell's incantations. And we heard no incantations, nor any other suspicious noises. Okay. Everyone just went... <clears throat> oh, boy. Uh... Well, it, it won't even fucking let me let me touch her, so Hang on. she's really hard to land on. Excuse me, number six. Yeah, yeah. I'm sort of busy thinking about something right now. What do you think about Miss Treadon's state, Mister Treadon's statement? Is uh. there any is there anything you'd like to share with us? Well, kind of. Just a thought I had. Treadon saying that since he didn't hear the incantation. The witch didn't use magic, right? Yeah, she didn't, so she couldn't have turned invisible, see? That's some surprisingly good reasoning, especially coming from you. But couldn't she have simply cast the spell earlier? Huh? If she was invisible from the start, of course we wouldn't have heard that incantation. Hmm. Hmm. Why, aren't you the smart one, Servius? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was thinking the same. Out of Foxy's mouth. <laughs> oh dear. I feel like I'm melting inside. Watch me bask in Foxy's love, tread on. Gah. The envy. The jealousy. The chagrin. You make me suffer so, Foxy. It was a noteworthy testimony. <laughs> But this witness wasn't the only one that seemed to have something to say about it. <laughs> I'm laughing at this one comment in chat. It's literally just sexual. <laughs> okay, let's question some more people. <laughs> okay, you're supposed to do both of them. Oh, there were more this time, I think. I want to talk to oh, Shaky! Shaky. Hang on. Talk to Shaky! Mr. Shaky? Oh, no! No! Hey, we hit 400. I didn't yeah, mean to startle you. Earlier. Do you have anything to add to Mr. Triton's testimony? Oh, oh yes. I, I, think, I think there was something... A strange noise. You actually heard something at the crime scene? And you say it was a strange noise? Yes. Look what you did, Nick. That's just cruel. But I didn't do anything. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> I just got a cinnamon roll. I can't remember if I heard anything odd when we were in the bell tower. Excuse me, Mr. Shaky. I'm it's Mr. just Lywood tripping him every few minutes. Oh. It looks like we're temporarily the one witness down. Let's, Let's give, give him, him a break. Maybe that's me. Someone else. <laughs> Let's give him a break. Maybe someone else heard that noise. Number eight said he didn't hear anything unusual, and it wasn't only Shaky that seemed to have a differing opinion on the matter. Are we gonna go through everyone? <laughs> Be nice to Shaky. <laughs> Oh my god, what? This is so silly. Oh my god. Anyone else? No. <laughs> All right. Hang on. Why this? Excuse me, Mr. Wordsmith. I do not know anyone by that name. Uh... Yeah, uh, anyway, 
Would you like to comment on Mr. Tridon's testimony? I see you have nothing to say. He's in greenfield mode again. Oh, he's in greenfield mode again. Do not rush to conclusions, young one. I am on a greenfield sky clad. Oh, on a green... I don't know why I keep reading this wrong. I am on a green field, sky clad, watching petals dance in the wind. Yep, I knew you'd say that. And yet, a shaft of light has shone through the dark abyss of my memory. I heard something in the bell tower when we went to apprehend the witch. What did you hear? Was it an... an, an what, what? What did you hear? No, it wasn't an incantation. Nevertheless, it sounded like a woman's voice. Mr. Wordsmith, this is extremely important information. Please add this to your testimony. Yes, I shall do that. It's best that I tell you about it now before I forget again. As the defender requested, you will now testify about the sound you heard. <laughs> I recall- My guy, share whatever you're on. <laughs> <laughs> you heard a woman sobbing. Yes, sobbing, or perhaps wailing. I e can't believe Shaky turned me down! <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. He seems like he'd love getting hurt. Just look at him. <laughs> e, e, eek, e. She sounded a bit like hinges in need of some grease. Boy, his falsetto pack. Oh, nah. <laughs> his falsetto pack's a serious punch. And there was another noise too. Clack, 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 clack. It was a pleasant sound, rather like that of wooden cogs in motion. Huh? And another sound, a clink-clank of chains creaking. We've come a long way from the sound of a woman crying. I remember now a woman's scream. It was... On second thought, I heard it too. No, that one's me. Uh, that one's you, you're right. Yeah. I remember a certain wailing, creaking noise flowing through the air. Yeah, this is all the contraption. And when did you hear it? Um, we ran to the bell tower, and I think it was when we arrived at the entrance. Indeed. Only the quickest of us got there in time to hear it. Mr. Wordsmith is a fast runner? Huh, gotta be honest, Nick. I never saw that coming. I think it might speak more for the slowness of the other vigilantes. Anyway, we got a new piece of info. The vigilantes heard some noises resembling machinery in the tower. I wonder what was making all those eeks and clinks and clacks. Was there any machinery up in that bell tower? Now's the perfect time to present something that may have some connection to those noises. Okay. Looks like they're all saying pretty much the same thing, but if there was another... Blah, blah, yeah, this is just the uh, end of... Okay. Now, now, what do I present this on? There's nowhere to hide. Uh, undoubtedly, that girl's voice. She ran towards the tower. She didn't escape. Split into two groups. I was in the first group. I'm shaky. There's no one at the, the crime scene. We captured the girl. There was no one for anyone. It's probably here, right? Hold it. Fuck, I pressed instead of... Am I, am I crazy, Chad? Isn't isn't present usually top left? It must not be, because like I, I fucked that up a number of times. My bad. Okay, let's try presenting. Objection. No, I don't know why I did this without a hint coin. You're, you're wrong. Here's a penalty. Enjoy dying. Dumb, dumb. These guys are just mean. All right. Because, like, I know what I need to present. There's just ten tests. You need the, yeah. Oof, okay. It's at the end. Ugh. Oh.
Wow. What? Why would you present it on this? Okay. It's it's gotta be this, right? Objection. Why would you present that there? That's so weird. The defense has a theory regarding the source of those strange sounds. I have to imagine this is gonna be the like a break in the case after this. It was most likely mm -hmm. this. This mechanism is on the middle floor of the bell tower. That reminds me. Because he was the one who brought up the machinery noises. Yeah, but his statement is about a woman sobbing, which is not, like, <sighs> the right thing. And other people are directly talking about the place to hide, which is what the contraption is for. I think that's dumb. There was some contraption up there, unlike anything I'd seen before. Is this me's one? Jello, when is the next Miles as a Robot coming out? I gave you one yesterday. It's 25 minutes long. Yes, this one's this one's you. That's right, Chief. We never touched it, though. How about we try operating that contraption to see what it does? We might just be able to reproduce the sound that Mr. Lotta Lance heard at the crime scene. Right, you might be onto something. But it was I who testified about it before that young man. I talked about it too. Well, you've got my curiosity. Let's see you set that contraption in motion. <laughs> Sounds like you're five steps ahead as usual. See, here's the thing though. You had to make the jump in logic that the contraption leads up to the bell tower a while ago, right? Because you had to present, there's nowhere else to hide. You had to present the top floor of the bell tower, which implies the player already knows all of this shit. So just don't do this, right? Mm -hmm. Like even the game knows we already know. So, you know, this game's mostly been pretty good about it. I, I do get mad at this every time it happens in every Ace Attorney game though. Okay. Well, you've got my care, fucking do it. My lord, just leave it to me. So fucking Jack in the box. Just a little monkey. Get ready, everyone. Prick up your ears. Yep. Sounds. Really, none of you, none of you thought to bring up that sound. As you've all seen, or rather heard, it's clear that device was operating shortly after the incident. Objection. This doesn't change the fact that we know nothing about that con what that contraption does. Your demonstration hasn't led us to any valuable conclusions. Well, why don't we ask what it did? <laughs> Remember our demonstration a little while ago? Demonstration? Are you referring to that silly contraption? Yes. That contraption serves a very specific function. The plan of the bell tower shows no stairs leading up to the belfry. Do the stairs corkscrew up? Now, if you think yeah. about it in relation to the plan, it's obvious what this contraption is for. It's a mechanism enabling access up to the belfry. What? Is that what this is? What? Unbelievable for some reason. Order, order. Another witch was in the bell tower when the incident happened. And the reason she wasn't discovered is because she used that contraption to reach the belfry and hide up there. Objection. Hold your horses, Defender. You seem oblivious to the contradiction in your reasoning. What do you mean? I'm talking about your little demonstration just now. Yes, this device was set in motion and made some strange noises. And yet, that's all it did. Huh? That's right, nothing happened. If it was a device for accessing the top of the tower, then why didn't it take us there? Echo, that contraption is of no relevance to this case. Which brings us back to my erstwhile conclusion that there was no other witch. Objection! I don't know if we needed this half of the trial. I'm gonna be real. It's too early mm. to say that, High Inquisitor. And why is that? Sure, our demonstration didn't show it, but maybe the device didn't work because it wasn't used correctly. What? Why do you think so? My reasoning is simple. Let's just say it would be troublesome if just anyone else, uh, if just anyone could go up and sound the bell. So it's reasonable to assume that access to the belfry would be restricted. In other words, a special key would be needed. A key? 
No, and don't I... make us dance around this. Just let us do it, please. This game's pretty good about that, generally. And I think I know just what that key is. I'd like to direct the court's attention to this knight. Before I ask you to present evidence, I'd like you to summarize your theory in case the player is a goldfish. You believe there was another witch in the bell tower at the time of the incident, and that this witch used a contraption within the tower to make her way up to the belfry and hide there. Your whole theory rests solely upon these facts. If it doesn't allow access to the belfry, then your reasoning is completely wrong. I'm sure you know what that would mean for a speller. Your mistake would seal her fate. Yes, I'm aware of that. All right then, the defense shall prove its theory. Show us this key needed to operate the contraption in the bell tower. Take that! The key to the contraption is this pendant. That belongs to the accused, doesn't it? That's right, we found it at the crime scene. Now, if we take a look at the bottom part of the contraption, there's a depression here about the exact same size of the pendant. Oh yes, I remember it. A hole in the shape of that pendant. Hmm. Well, I don't get it. Why would that pendant be the key to the bell tower? I don't know either. At least not for now. But the point is, it definitely is. With this pendant, we should be able to operate the contraption and access the belfry. No. Well then, the court will grant the defense a chance to prove its assertion. However, you shall be given one chance only. Oh, scary. Are you ready, Defender? Make sure you're prepared for the consequences of a mistake. This will be your only chance. If it doesn't work, that will be the end of it. Yes, I'm ready. I've got to be right about this. Good. Pushes to, her off the tower. To be honest, this looks like a puzzle. I wish the professor was here. This is totally his field of expertise. Meanwhile, ah, professor! They're dangling over crocodiles. <laughs> Are you ready, Nick? Should we give it a try? Yeah, it's got to work. Spella's fate depends on this. Talk about pressure. I've got to stay calm. Puzzle 64, the bell tower. The pendant light is reflected by blue gems on the circumference of the gears on the machine. Each gear will rotate 90 degrees when turned. Rotate the gears to align the blue gems and redirect the light. The large central gem will only re uh, reflect light when in the vertical position and when rotated. Oh, what? Wait. The large central gem will only reflect light when in the vertical position and when, rot uh, and when rotated. Light must hit the red gems on either side at the same time. I, I am not absorbing that sentence at all. No, me neither. Just fuck around for a bit. Just fuck around, it. yeah. Rotate the central gear so the light hits the gems on both sides simultaneously. Just say that. I, we don't, it's fine. Okay, Nick, let's give this thing a shot. Boop, 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 boop. What? I, uh, whoa, a beam of light. Uh, yeah, I, okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, okay, I got it. Hit both gems simultaneously, got it. Okay. Uh. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh. Are there any other options for this? All right, has to go that way. Interesting. Okay. No, it doesn't have to go that way. Cool. Oh. Good to nude. Well, I I know, game. I'm going. She's just here like, hmm. What? I... What? I think she's... I think this is supposed to happen. Uh, okay. There was no submit. In the end, uh, fuck you. I assume Leighton comes in. He's like, I can do puzzles. Yeah, it's scripted. The contraption cannot be operated with the pendant. I fucked up! I fucked up so bad! You really, truly fucked up this time, Sir Blue Knight. Oh! While you were tinkering with that contraption, 
The accused regained consciousness. Oh, Spella! Is she okay? Well, despite seeming a bit confused, she's in a better shape now. Although, I wouldn't describe her situation as okay. Quite the opposite, in fact. <sighs> Don't tell me you've forgotten your agreement with the judge. You failed to prove your theory, and so the accused fate has been decided. <sighs> There's nothing I can say to that. Attendants, bring in the accused. Blink blonk. Blink blonk. Where's Accused. my cat? The trial has reached its conclusion in your absence. My god, oh my computer's having so much trouble. Holy shit. <laughs> the court shall now announce its verdict. The verdict. You are the great witch. And your true name is Bezella. This evening, a terrible crime took place. You killed your father, the storyteller, using the spell Granworm. Does the accused have anything to say? Yes, I am Bezella, the one that brought calamity upon this town. And my memories are proof of this. I remember the legendary fire in which this town was burned to the ground. And this day, several hours ago, I summoned a fire dragon and took my own father's life. There is no doubt that the Great Witch is a part of me. I understand. Hold it! No, Espella! You can't! Don't say that! You're under a spell! Don't... Don't give up just yet! Cool. Try turning the music back down. It's gonna, it's gonna be hard. Got even my volume mixer is like, my computer's like, please. What? Your computer is shaky. You've been fighting a battle in this court. You have come here with your logic, finding contradictions to astound everyone. It was your battle, not hers. <sighs> So how can you be telling her not to give up, when you have already dropped your sword? I need to turn it down a little more. <sighs> this is the level I usually keep it at, okay. If you are a true knight of the court, you will fight your battle to the end! Why is she telling me this? It almost sounds like she's encouraging me. Is she? Waiting for no something? Worry. It's okay, Mr. Wright. Ever since I was little, I can only remember being all alone. Fuck you for having me turn this back down. But that's not really true. There were people who were dear to me and memories that I cherished. At least, I think there were. But I've already lost all that. They were taken from me the moment I became Bazella. Patty still cares about you. Bella. Since then, I started working at Aunt Patty's bakery. I met Mr. Wright, Maya, Mr. Layton, and Link. The four of you did all you could to help me. I am truly happy to have met you, but blame for the Great Witch's crimes rests solely on my shoulders. So let's put an end to this now. Bazella must not remain in this town. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Espella. Are you... Well then, it's time for the final verdict. Think, Phoenix, think! Did she have a second gem on her thing? Maybe. Isn't there anything I can do? I just need something! Anything that could offer even a, a single glimmer of hope in this darkness of despair. It's just right there. It's just, just... Oh my god. There's gotta be something, right? It's literally above thing. Objection. Your Honor, please hold off with the verdict. What's that, Defender? A verdict is, uh, you at the end of a trial, you decide whether so- I- that's <laughs> not what I meant. It's too early to pass the final judgment on a Spella. What? Explain yourself. 
You said Don't earlier that the that. trial has reached its conclusion. But... There's something we have yet to examine. What are you suggesting? Do you mean to say you have some new evidence? But, but surely there can't be any new evidence at this late stage. Very well, Defender. We shall play along with you just one more time. Now, show us this evidence that we haven't yet seen. The new, crucial piece of evidence is... <laughs> There's only one place it can be. It's in Espella's possession. But uh, I have it? I saw it for a second. Something there that she shouldn't have. Oh, do you think they're sisters? Do you think they're sisters? And they both have one of the gems? I don't know. Oh! An item that contradicts two, two what we've heard. Aspella and Contabella? My gut feeling tells me that item is the key to this whole case. Most interesting. I shall enjoy watching you hopelessly struggle through this like a fish caught in a net. Now, Defender. Show us this new piece of evidence that the accused supposedly has on her person. I I don't even know why you're making me do this. Got it. A wrist? No, no, Judge, I... You have used Girls the... Girls aren't supposed to have those. Off with her wrists. <laughs> what? Espella, can I see that bracelet on your left hand? Um, yes, certainly, if you'd like. It's actually a pendant, you know. But the strap got torn somehow when I was up at the bell tower. That's why I've had it around my wrist since, uh, well, just before this trial started. But this pendant, it looks exactly the same as the one we already have. W wait a minute, what's this? We confiscated a pendant at the crime scene. B why is she wearing it now? I don't get it. It's given me a headache. Someone in chat, Darklaw has the same weird hair thing as the little girl from Spy X Family does. Yeah, she does. So I was right. I have another question about this pendant. Ispella, do you remember exactly when the strap broke? I'm trying to remember, but no, I can't. I know it was still fine when we parted ways, but... In other words, she has no memory of it. She doesn't remember when it broke or when she tied it to her wrist. That's certainly bizarre, I must say. Your pendant has already been submitted as evidence. And yet, Espella still has her pendant. That's a fact we can all attest to. Which means, there must have been two pen- There were two dogs! Really? Objection. Legs! <laughs> Objection. So there are two. And the accused was caught red-handed at the crime scene. Whether this pendant is hers or not, it doesn't change anything. Yeah. She was caught red-handed by us, the vigilantes. This pendant proves something crucial to this case. Can't be more crucial than us catching her at the crime scene. The second pendant wasn't dropped by Aspella. So, as the defense already suggested, one more person was at the crime scene. <sighs> What? What? <laughs> you went away like a balloon. <laughs> Gone. 420 viewers. <laughs> order! Order! Accused! Submit your pendants as evidence this instant! Yes, my lord. Um, Nick! If we have two pendants to work with. <laughs> Someone in chat, Darkla literally has the witch emblem on the palm of her hand. I think that's because she's an inquisitor and they catch witches. Maybe we can see if that strange contraption will work this time. Now it makes sense. That must be why it didn't work before. Your honor. Oh God, ew. I just put my hand on like an old chair next to me and just got fucking covered in dust. Ick. Oh. The defense would like tr to try operating the mechanism in the bell tower one more time. What? Why now? The contraption didn't work before because we only had one pendant. But both pendants are needed to operate it properly. Foolishness, guys, me. <sighs> Hi, Inquisitor Darklaw. You know this is a waste of time. If it's not going to work anyway, why not let the defender have his fun? What? 
Defender, if you think you can operate the contraption with two pendants, then I suggest you go ahead and try it. Unless it has already dawned upon you that such a plan is futile. The defense shall be given one more- Please break in the case, please. <laughs> Chance to verify its theory about the aforementioned contraption. Let us now make our way to the bell tower. <laughs> this is going to be your last try. I know. Little bunny foo-foo. Are you not terrified? The life of the accused rests in your shaky hands. We won't be having any more. Let me try again, please, your honors. Besides, you must be aware that this puzzle may well be a unsolvable. I wouldn't have been able to solve this puzzle like a puzzle like this before arriving here in Labyrinthia. I'm very stupid. But now, I'm sure I can take on any puzzle, unless it's a slide puzzle. And it's all thanks to you, Professor. Move over, Miles. You taught me that every puzzle has a solution. Well, hold I... on, wait a minute. Wait, hold no, on. hang on. One Be... moment, one moment, please. Oh, God! <laughs> He's just getting a headache. <laughs> what do you say, Maya? Should we hurry up and get started? Maya? <laughs> sure thing. It's puzzle busting time. Checkmate. <laughs> I'm afraid my checkmate is gone. Pendant light is reflected, yeah. Okay. We did it. You fucking imagine if that was like all it took? It was just like, yep. Bing, bing. Ping pong, bing bong, gling gong, ning nong. All right. Spinny. Ooh, it's getting kind of fun. Ooh, look at all those. This is fun Ooh, to look at. Ooh, fun. Ooh. Oh, he's going all over the place. Wow, it's like, I don't even know what's happening. I'm just having a good time. Got it. I, I thought I got it. Do I have to do it at the same time? There we go. It did the go. I got it. Eat the goal. The answer here is obvious. I'm Phoenix. Take that. <sighs> Come on. I'm sure I did it right. Um, nothing's happening. This this sound, it sounds exactly like a human woman, apparently. Oh shit, alchemy. Oh, that's kind of rad. That's kind of rad. I dig it. Man, I hope you're not standing in the wrong spot when that happens. This is... What an astounding contraption. Mm, what do we have here? It's still no comparison to the incomparable astoundingness of Mother Nature. Oh, I'd like to climb up those stairs. I like being on the top. We shall escort you. We shall escort you. <laughs> I'm gonna take. Okay, Nick. Let's go see what's upstairs. A bell. <laughs> Nick. What? Yeah, I think you're right. I am Guys. a human. That's the bell that Guys. The bell of. Let's ring it. It must not be sounded. Dark Law licks her lips like that Chihuahua. There's someone hiding behind the bell. They're still up I've here. Been here for five hours. Oh yeah. It's you. Now that's the last person I expected to find here. She looks like a Bacchano character. Don't know if I agree. No, in like the, the cut scenes. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Um, so do you want to do, finish this on another day? 